was to tell you right now that Jesus really don't exist. What the fuck? Yo, what the hell are you I just want you to calm down what and talk to me. What is you talking about, man? What the fuck you mean Jesus don't exist? What's wrong with you? What the? Listen, that you. was a trick by the white man. What the fuck, man? I did not tell you something wrong with you, man. Why? Because Jesus always exists. What the? F how the? F how the hell you think all these people got over here, man? And you think Jesus has That's something to right. do with that? That's right. He made man. He made lady. So what did Jesus do for you? He did nothing for me. He kept me living right here, man. What the hell you talking about? Jesus don't exist, man. What the hell you think you at? Why you think you here? Huh? What the? What the? Man, what's wrong with you, man? Well, I'm saying you've been praising Jesus all your life. That's right, that's right. What if I was to tell you that that bastard never really existed? Yo, watch your fucking mouth right here, man. Watch your motherfucking mouth. What the fuck you talking about Jesus like that? Man, who the fuck is you? Now nah, you're fucking up now, man. Now nah, you're fucking up now, man. <laughs> Peace and Black Power family, welcome to another Song Letter TV House of Consciousness production. Check out the survey. We're going to see, because a lot of people always say, how come y'all still talking about religion? Well, I'm going to show you why we still talk about religion. Because we went through 400 to 500 years of psychological damage, all right? Check this out, family. Song Letter TV. If it was ever a good time, that I could just rule the streets and never hold a beef. If there was ever a bad time. We just stick together, we will set a better tone on the streets I never think he's right on time Ain't no masquerades and no never games to play It'd be the new pastime It'd be the new pastime If it was ever a good time Then we could just live in peace And didn't kill our peeps Ain't no more walking around blind Ain't no stopping, it's the consciousness The drop and help the people to see If we could live in the sunshine Without being a slave Free from all stress and hate Would that be the last sign? Yes, family, as I was saying You know, a lot of people always talk that bull crap They don't know what the hell they're talking about You know, just because you are at a certain point in your life You are at a different level in your life That don't mean everybody's gonna be on the same page When you say we need to stop talking about religion When you finish watching this You tell me if we need to stop talking about religion We got to keep religion on the table Because our people is trapped inside of religion not only religion, but the goddamn white man religion. They would choose the white man over their own mother. You are Jesus, man. I believe in God, yes. I believe in God and Jesus, yes. Was he a white man or a black man? I believe he's white. Come on over here. You see Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Malcolm X. Which one of these men means more to you in your life? Jesus Christ. Why Jesus Christ? Because he's everything. How? He's everything. He's, he's all. He created me. He loves me. If you was to choose between Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Malcolm X, which man means more to you today in your life? Uh, I'd probably say Jesus. Point to it. I would probably say Jesus, cause just. I uh, probably say Jesus. What about you, sir? Who is this again? Marcus God. Marcus God. I would say Jesus. Jesus. I would say Jesus. Jesus. This one here. Yeah, in the middle. How about you? Jesus. Which one of these men mean more to you in your life today? Jesus Christ, Marcus Garvey, or Malcolm X? Jesus Christ. Which one? Jesus Christ. Which one? If I was to tell you that there's really no Jesus on the planet, what would go through your mind? That you don't know the truth. So do you suppose Jesus was a white man, though? Keep it real. If he lived in Israel, it must be white. Yes, right I think. Here, Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Malcolm X. Which one of these are more influential in your life today, brother? And why? Um, you know, honestly, I think that, that, that for, for each of their time periods, they all represented a sense of change, right? right? So, 
So, so I don't know if 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 one is more relevant. I think that the. I, I think I think the idea is that that each of them looked at what the the social norm was and went against it. So regardless of 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 what each of them looked like and what each of them stood for, I think at the end of the day, each of them said that what's going on at, in their current time isn't right, and let's do some things to to change it. Whether it was government, the Pharisees, or or the way we we're being treated. Now, if you had the choice to choose one, like I asked you. Which one is more influential in your life? Just one. You have to choose one. But I, I got you, you, you. So, so with that though, sometimes you got to take the answer that was given. So my answer was, is that for me? No, all of these are no. You didn't ask the question. You got to ask to answer the question. I, I'm not. I'm not. Wait. Hold on. So, 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 so. You like a matrix. Woo! You skipped around the question. Right. You asked me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, what, who's more important to you? Your mother or your father? That's not the question. No, it is. It's the same thing. No, it's, it's not the same thing. You can, there because, are because none of them. No, but, but, no, but, but you, you, can, you, can, you can have an answer. The mother and each. the father. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. I chose all three. Thank you very much, guys. All right, you tap dancing, brother. <laughs> Which one of these men are more influential in your life today? Oh, you know that Miglo and Jesus. Oh, so you're saying you're going with Jesus over... Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X. Yes, yes. Which one of them is most influential in your life? If you had a chance to choose one. two. No, no, you got to take one. It got to be Jesus. It right, got to be Jesus because so, he made those two. But nah, I got to say Malcolm X. So you're going with the one in the side, middle man. that's more influential in your of life? Of course, of course. I have, must say Jesus Christ. Oh, so you're going with Jesus this too? This is the cutting right, edge. Real. And it's Wednesday. IRFM, Ocho Rios, St. Anne, Jamaica, West Indies. We're there with you again. You know, the things them were happen in the island, you kind of make you feel aware. But we have things for cheer up still, and that is good. We have some things for cheer up that is really good. We, are, we never get feel up the IRFM people, them who do a wonderful work out of Jack Ruby Avenue there Friday. It was it was wonderful. It was wonderful, man, may I tell you? It, it was wonderful. And 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 the the, the, the ones them who what them call it, the team from IRFM need to get a raise up here. For all we go on out there, so I mean it make IRFM jump gone up. Uh, if I refer me there are one no where they are a bar three. <laughs> if you do calculus, you know a bar quantity. You know, you have you have bar one, bar two. You know, so one is not there. It's weird, one is not the the first number. One is not the first number. You have bar one, two, and bar two and bar three according to them calculation. But it was nice. It was nice, really and truly. Then the next night, no, we go to one show, one Mother's Day show. Well, we, 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 we actually play at the Mother's Day show, just like we'll have play down at the Jack Ruby um, Avenue there, but it's no different kind of music with the, 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 the main ingredients and the, 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 the three degrees. The, the show was nice. The show was nice, but my, my thing is that me, 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 is, me don't know why me did it for the sound check, you know, Reggie. I see you. You know, me did it for the sound check, and me never like where I go on. For the, the brother, when him, when name again, Cuban, Cuba, Gooden. When name? The, the, the lead singer for, um, for the main ingredients is, is, is Cuba Gooden Jr., um, father. And the man, the pan stage, and, the man angry man, them are weird. Like so some little boy I'm a talk to. That all me know, me never involved with and me start to get back from the stage like me that threw him off at the stage. Believe you me, because I can't believe, say, one man who is an artist, who's supposed to really show respect to the music. And that even like some little musician, some little boy, you know. A big man, we have them grand pick and all them things like on the stage, you know. Um, fabulous, Fab Five. Fab five are back him. And the old man are going up on the stage. You know, that me I said, but wait. Oh, where the brother you come from, Rasta? 
you know, I will love the tune them, we love him tune them, you know, the main ingredients, soul tune them and tears, you know, we love them tune there. But it is not a it is not a nice fellow. It is really not a nice fellow. I'm a really you not know, appreciate to him go on. I'm, I'm sorry, say I'm not there for hear me attack. But when we look on Fab Five as a seasoned musician, them, them man they play music from before me know anything about Jamaican music. And them man they back the motor people them man they back in the world. And if you hear one man come from the stage a sound check and I go answer with them that me take it personal. I tell you, I take it personal. Because if, if Cam really throw a punch, I'm going to throw two feet. You leave you be. That's something it feel. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah. uh, look, man, come on, come on and disrespect the musician them, so that's that. That's why sometimes when you hear it's a Jamaican musician, I go on and we, you know, yeah, yeah, one, yeah, say, boy, a Jamaican musician love your problem, you know, but sometimes you can't talk to them kind of way there. We take it serious. Respect is due when respect is due, and you know them way there as, as a seasoned musician from season to season. Him is a seasoned artist, them is seasoned musician. You know, I mean, just cool it down and do your sound check, and you know, you're going to embarrass the man them in the crowd there. If them play the wrong thing, you're going to embarrass them, and the prime minister is supposed to do that, and I'm going to embarrass them in front of the prime minister. Who the hell care about the Prime Minister there, they or not? You understand? It, 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 anyway, the show the nice. The show the nice. Nice crowd. Mother's Day style. We love it. We love it. We give thanks so we go. And we get to play in between the, the act them. You know them really. Different kind of music as we said. Not like what we play on James Avenue. You know, so we can't, we can't fit into any kind of session. <laughs> we can't fit into any kind of session. You know, we play different music for different ears you know see the taste can't be too far for me for reach there so we give thanks you know say we the part of trump thing from that idea trump trump out there are too bad <laughs> trump trump out there are too bad them when i was there cruel did i say he must spend him, him the, the last breath to him up. He must make sure he say Trump don't get the nomination. Well, right now, Trump must be about 100 and add from the nomination. And a whole heap of place left. And a him one in the run-ins. And then now, him and Hillary is at it. But I watch the TV and I realize, say, I never know that some people don't like Hillary. It's like the same amount of Democrats who don't like, the same amount of Republicans who don't like Trump. And the same amount of Democrat you not know, like Hillary. Them prefer um my boy the Sanders. Them prefer him. But I don't know. I don't know where I go on. I don't know where I go on. But the two of them now is neck and neck by one another you now. Like Hawk. The two of them is at one another neck. So we're gonna see how that play out too. Them say tomorrow they're gonna have a meeting with the the other the the, the, the Republican come um ICO. And we're going to see where we're going to go on if Trump will tell him say must go. Or if he will tell Trump say must stop where my door is, he will not help him. So we're going to see where we're going to go on. Thank you for the headphone. Are you one? You're going to not get it back, you know. Where are we whisper for? I say you're going to not get it back. Where is something there? Then how am I going to use it? If I don't have any money, I'll ask you for this. I don't have a computer. I don't have a computer, Virgin. I don't have a computer, Virgin. I want to get you Rasta. Gavin, you go on nice, don't say you know. You go on nice, but me bring my bread in for profile, man. You never make him profile, but you not see him on paper. Imagine me drive the man from Kingston, which where your time where? Time where? The something never done. When we reach the something never done, Rasta. It make me bring the man clear from town, come out of a profile, one tone. And you come to me about the man, and after Chamara, tell the same name, the party paper, you tell me about him, name, not the party paper. Eh? You go and whisper like you're dumb about time, time, time. The time never gone. The time never gone. Because Jigsy King and where did I bridge your name? They did on the stage. Long. Long, long in the party stage. I never did that take them off. You don't go on good, silly, no? No, man, you don't go on good, man. I tell you, you don't go on good, Rasta. Anytime I keep my function, you know, I want the same team. They are my function, you know. I hope Kabo will listen to me, you know. I hope Kabo will listen to me. 
Every time I keep my function, you see the same amount of advertisement on me here. RFM pay for them advertisement, eh? The advertisement, the RFM advertise the thing down, so RFM no pay for it. All right, well, you see me now. Every time I keep my things, I want you, Shamara, Tony, all the people, them, Cuban, everybody, are my things. You understand? I mean, I have charge for going on my things, you know. So, you can't tell me, say, I have charge, so therefore, I don't have to get paid. I don't have to work off at the same like a Mikkel Mokkel Road again. You understand? So, I don't have tell Cabo, Cabo, anytime I keep my things, at the same effort and energy where you use for putting a Jack Ruby thing. And I mean, I don't have to be dead, neither, you know. I mean, I don't have to be dead, you know. I don't have to be live and living colors, Muta Baroka. You understand? So, I give thanks. I appreciate it even though you, 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 you sidestep my brethren. Kiddo Sai. You never, you, never, you never know him. No. Me know, that's why you said, no, man. You know, man. Me know, if I was Ninja Malta up there, you'd make him jump up on the stage. Go, Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Find that man. Can't find that man. Anyway. So, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. And we give thanks still. You know, it's all in the a day's work. Even though the rain did fall, but we give thanks to the rain did roll up too. We have a bridge in your Galaxy Radio Technical Director. I never even know him a Technical Director. He said, I'm going to come sit in on the cutting edge because I was so much about cutting edge in England. And we did it on, we did it on Galaxy. You know, say Galaxy are the first radio station rebroadcast. Um, cutting edge, not true, Bridget. Yeah, man. yeah, Galaxy are the first radio station where we broadcast cutting edge in England, even though them never, you know, me just start going to England and people used to complain to me and say, Galaxy play because them the, 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 the program are four hours and them usually play a 90 minute tape. Yes, and the people them say, Motor Galaxy are robbery and a rat because they play the 90 minute tape. I just, I just half of the show that you know. And we can't hear that half, you know. A little more, we go down a brick stand. Down a, um, the front line there. And see a brother named Weatherman. A Weatherman, him name? Yeah, yeah, Where you looking at Weatherman shop, you know. A pure cutting edge tape in there, you know. Label up on subject when we talk about, on the date when we talk about it, you know. Weatherman still about the bridge, you know? Yeah, he's still there. Him still there? Mm-hmm. But people can't hear it you now on YouTube. We'll have to go buy it again. We'll have to go buy it again. No. One, one day with the pan tour, you know. One time with the pan tour, I, I think of Italy with the pan tour. And people always come and sell at sell, sell them shows. You know, they must sell, sell, sell. And my lady go outside there and go see a bridging. Of a, of a table, you know. One African bridging. Full of pure cutting edge, you know. She just scrape up the whole of them and bring them inside. <laughs> she just scrape up the whole of them because. After the man did it, you know, that time, it's, you know, me can't understand the money too. For instance, if a man take a picture of you, and you ask him if you copy, he must sell you it. I just say, Bridget, no, I'm saying, if I take the picture, you, you take the picture of me, and I ask him if you have a picture, you sell me my picture. I never tell you to take my picture, Bridget. Now you take my picture, take my picture of me, I said, give me a copy of that picture, then I must say, well, I'm out of, you know, you have to pay a money for it, you know. I see him with the brother with the cassette, them, you know. After we go out there and see him with the woolly pack, cutting the cassette, them, you know, he must tell you about, about four pounds and three pounds and all them something. I will scrape up the whole of them. <laughs> That's about, about four pounds and five pounds. But we, we walk down a road after we see where that man, you know, with the one up, with, with the 90 minute cassette, them, you know, we go down one road and we see a brother with a, with a stall gone way up in the air, you know, a pure continent CD, you know. Me, I tell you, you know, pure, me, I say, wait, this, we are going in England, yeah, because we never know. So That's how the thing going in England, you know. Me, when we reach there and see the magnitude of where I go on, you know. The brother have the brother not have no stone love cassette. Him not have no metro media cassette. I mean CD, him not have no dance or nothing pan the shelf, you know. Cutting it cassette gang clip that you come right down and them have it label up. When we saw when, when we talk about pan a day there, the date. And a picture of me, uh, if I if I like for instance, if I interview Farrakhan, then put a picture of Farrakhan on the front. You know what I mean? Like, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. And 
You have a bridge in now named, um, what's his name, Badassi? He mm. might reach her next week. He might say he might reach Wednesday. He might there watch her Wednesday. And he put it on YouTube. A six, over six million hits it got already. Six million hits. Mm. Hmm? Enough people that. Enough people. But maybe, maybe one people got there at 100,000 <laughs> times. <laughs> Maybe one person. <laughs> Maybe one person got the hundred thousand time and it looked like a holy for FIFA. <laughs> About six million people, I know people still. Believe you me. And it's not a music thing. You know, it's really not a music thing. So when you have six million people, uh uh okay the invasion are going at all. Quit I freak out, you know. Uh, yeah. so. <laughs> a job to still have work with after so much years. <laughs> you know, we can't go and every man left. Come on, curse, follow me, go up. All right, well, well, give time. Good. Give time. Yeah, man, give time. Give time. All right. Big up yourself. You know what I'm reaching there? You should have known him. A Galaxy like Radio man, you know? Mysterious. From England. Yeah, yeah. him say, my day. I don't know if he make that card since him come here, but <laughs> him say about the technical director for Galaxy Radio. Yeah, <laughs> Big radio station in England, yeah, yeah, yeah man. And them, them, them play a whole heap of what kind of music. Of Galaxy Radio, Galaxy Radio man, sweet. Like yes. All right, so... Eh? Yeah, invite me yourself on my program. Yeah. What we have a talk about? Anything. You know we're ready. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, mama. Yes. So, why so much things we want to talk about China? We want to talk to this Virginia you know. Him name Muta, I know. Virgin. Oh, the man for put B in my name, Rasta. It's a Congo. So they speak. That's how they call it in the Congo, Muta. Okay. I want to talk to the Virgin Little from Galaxy Radio because we say. Galaxy Radio are the first radio station in England, actually. Bus, a bus, them call it. Bus cutting edge in England. You have a next radio station here right now, after Galaxy Radio, there. Them no stop play. Where, where the radio station name again? S L. Oh, gosh, man. May I tell you, man. It's like I just high FM them work with. <laughs> them no stream high FM in England, just like that. But you see, when we go there, we depend on the radio station all four or five hours. Yeah, four or five hours with the radio station. But it, it, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, you know, because where, where we are doing, where it helps for do is really spread the message where we are trying to get across. And it don't just confine itself to Jamaica. It, it, it they all over the place. It they all over the place. So it don't really confine itself to Jamaica. And we don't mind it. We don't mind it. Because we see how important it is for the people them outside of Jamaica, not only Jamaican people. You know, see, because when the British tell me say he might get its from all Vietnam, me I say who are listening to Vietnam for Muta Baroka. So, hmm. All right, we want to yell up, um, Brian, and we want to yell up a newcomer inside of the studio at the night, yeah, Shamara. Where's Shamara there? Where's Shamara? She, she's so eh? <laughs> Shamara get nervous, she got a bathroom. <laughs> hey, why you love Shamara? To the night, the night shift you saw. I, I don't know easy shift this. This is the cutting edge that I refer Give health a winning smile with the best oral care combination from Colgate. England. The Virgin come here from about 7 o'clock a week. So you want to come sit in because Galaxy, as I said, Galaxy bus I refer me in England from them time. Not true, Virgin? Yes, Virgin. Rise up. Rise up, rise up, Muta Baruka. Yeah, I want to send a big shout to my the the presenter who did rise at that. He did pass through the station when he was here, also. Yeah, man, Muta. That, yeah, man, yeah. Him, man, yeah, yeah so there, he, yeah. he'll be listening to you right now. Nico Mos Royal, he's part of the management too. Rise What's up, same name? Nico, yeah, Mos Royal. So who who not really see you, Charlie? Well, well, it's well, it's on now uh, by a, he's been elevated to the title of official Paramount Chief. His name is Pokombrabai. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah. So he own it. Yeah, he, he owns it. He's the he's the CEO. Okay. And uh, he is now a chief in a big area of Sierra Leone. Oh yeah. Yeah, but he's a Jamaican. Okay. And that's all good. Yeah, he's a Jamaican, and but he's kind of pro promoted the vibrations of of empowerment and liberation. Yeah. Right. So have a job opening up there. Hmm? We're having a job opening up there. Wait, we're in Galaxy? Galaxy yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe so, because we've extended the franchise into Sierra Leone, so there's a Galaxy Sierra Leone. Yeah, yeah in so free. Which part, in opening, which part of the job opening there? Galaxy, Sierra Leone or England? Uh, <laughs> the one I laugh. The one I laugh. But there's, there's, there's always a job for you, my brother. Yeah. There's always a you job for you, man. Me, I, you, all you have told me, you mentioned me. No, no, you, I didn't, no, I didn't hear you mention it. You know, but, you have said this was a job for me. Like, you want to take me away from my No, I don't take you from my <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, last week, you called me. And I, all right, we do an interview. No, I know you called me. But we do an interview, like a two-hour interview on Galaxy. Yeah. yeah. You was in England. Where no, no, they just fly it that day. You fly out? That day, yeah. Yeah. With, 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 with one of our presenters, they're like an organization that runs a program on a Monday evening. Mm. They're called the Al Kabulan Revivalist Movement. Yes, yes, Al Kabulan. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. them come up on the internet. They yeah. thought, well, something with them about love. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and they, may, they may have flowered your presentation with Ten Nai Mawi every half an hour. Flower. I don't understand. <laughs> well, they would have in, in, interspersed your presentation with a with a slogan that they say very regularly oh i don't hear it where well, go on i just hear the people that talk to me oh, well, i don't uh, hear exactly see, where see, they, see. They add them or whatsoever whatsoever mm, yeah so how was that interview that interview yeah that was, yeah it went, w- across good in yeah, it, went it went across it went across excellent because i did log in to see how things was yeah. as, as a director as a, as a technical director yeah, yeah I, I did log in from from portmore to see how things was, and I saw that it went, ac- it went across the scale, right, right, right to like high, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. The, the, the listening yeah, figures yeah. was enormous for a, it was a record for a Monday. Okay. Yeah, man. So what do you tell on a Monday? No, no, no. We still we still have Al Cable, huh? but they, but your show, your yeah. presentation, yeah, yeah went, went 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 records, okay, went okay, went through the record, okay, okay. yeah, as a listening. As, as you say, they typically would, um, will advertise what they are doing on the Monday. That's why you say you get the, the emails. Okay, yeah, 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 but, yeah. But they have a slot on a Monday. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. and, and they like to see their listing figures. Okay. So they, so they, they plot it every week. So what, what, what are you doing at Jamaica? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm um, seeing how a lively Jamaica is, really. Is a Jamaican? I'm a Jamaican, my brother. Yeah, yeah I, I, born, I born in Jonestown. Yeah, yeah, and, and I look a place, I look a place called Nelson Street. Oh, man, oh, Nelson Street. Yeah, I love Street. You, you used to live where? Yeah, my granny used to live at Love Street. Yeah, we run up and down in them. And yeah. same, same here in a tenement. Sentimo Street, Love Street, go right round all of them. That's right, in a, ten, in a tenement yard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And my but, granny did own the yard though. <laughs> 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 they own the yard. Two Love Street. Like, See, what if our people chop chop the place? I don't know. I'm gonna go move them out. You know. You should do still. <laughs> They've set up there about 30 years now, they've captured me, please. Zed, Zed, Zed. But my grandfather have some old heap of woodland up in uh, St. Mary. So, oh, yeah? so I come for chop down wood. Oh, you got, you got farm it up? Yeah, man. Which part of St. Mary? In Greencastle. I'm not yeah, just near Islington. Okay, okay. Where, 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 where Cableton come from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so it got acres and acres of woodland. Where's the acres and acres? Like? Uh, did a little preempt survey and see what really you need to do, yeah. So you have tiger feet and all them, you capture, that, you capture people, man. Well, no, we're recapturing it back from... Oh, yeah, you captured <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you captured we it. We captured it back from, from yeah. whoever has been... Occupied. From who's been occupied it or squatting on it. Yeah, they've been squat by your land. Yeah, they've been squat by my land. Yeah, it's a yeah. I tell you, that thing, there's a terrible thing. Well, you say you have it too, yeah? Hmm? You say you, you, you have it too? No, I mean, I say, in a love street there. Yeah. I my push and still, you know, but... You don't know it go, we don't really trouble nobody, you know, make them go and leave. Mm. Cause we don't really go around there. We don't really go around there, but mm. yeah, I'm a grand mm. people. We have here what them call it that's funny. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And and I, and I saw I come to I come to um I went to visit Rada to get a, a okay. my official farming title. Okay, okay. Get bulldozers and bulldozers out of the place. Sure, like. sure. So when you go back to England? Well I'm I'm gonna be back in a... Eight days, 
to finish off and get certain things back on the station and then uh, okay. and then forward up again. So you know about that, see? Who? The Virgin Red posted the things them on No, 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 but um, uh, you did you did actually bring his attention to me. I did hear you from a while ago mentioning him. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I did yeah, kind of. I um, posted things and say my reach out next week Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to be still around, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Look like a whole heap of England man, I come out yeah. Yeah. Almost definitely, but you said that you're going to talk about some good things happening in Jamaica, right? So that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if two no come out good still. <laughs> yeah, good still. We want start. We want start. Get if we see what I try to cover the job, we start get xenophobic. I don't know. Yeah, but we're Jamaican like you do. So are you, you get xeno, you, uh, xenophobic? On, on, your, on your cousin. But, but you don't have a, you don't have a British passport. <laughs> you know what answer? You know what answer to that? You have a British passport. Oh, well, I don't have a British passport. I have a British, a good, good British in Darwin. Uh -huh. You know Darwin? Yeah, no, Darwin. I'm a personal British in that, you know. Me and him fly go all over the place. See it. He have a British passport. See it. So anytime we're ready, we don't care run left way. Yeah, but, but, but it depends because they, they, they may say when we, when we run back there, it's like, is this a real British passport? Hmm? Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they can actually still just hold us there at, at, at immigration and kind of <laughs> penetrate us. Yeah. Well, they, they're there to help. Uh, in theory, they're there to help everybody that move to America. Huh? Yeah. In theory. Theory. Mm. Yeah, theory. <laughs> Anyway, give thanks to him. Give thanks uh, to him. You pass through our thing. You know them way there? Yeah, yes. This is the cutting edge. And I reflect. They are with you. If the rebel in me can touch a rebel in you and the rebel in the, the ideas and the, 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 the concepts where we hold fast to, where we actually believe, where we believe in her. And we don't know the history of the thing, how, how them get to believe these things. It's really a serious thing. Them get to believe some things where it's unbelievable that we believe these things. You know, it's weird. When we listen to it, I mean, it's about weird. If you go to a normal person on the road now, you know, I ask them about angel. First of all, most of the people don't believe in an angel. That's the first thing. Everybody believes in an angel. And then our perception and concept of angel with wings and all them way there, you know, and Gabriel, Archangel, Michael, and all these angels, and beware of how you entertain strangers because you might entertain angels unaware. But the concept of angels is so ancient. Go way back in a Kemet. But you see, when it reached the Greco-Roman thought and Greco-Roman thinking, and then how them use them artists for manipulate and create images in our mind. Because most of the things, if we say, if we say, Jesus, no care how we say we're conscious, you know. And the picture where them give we come up in our consciousness, you know. If we say angel, we, we can if we say devil, if we say hell, every image will come up in our mind was given to us. And there is no way to actually establish something for ourselves because we never get educated in the reverse or in the straight. Everything where them give we. We have it. We have it as the reality, our reality. For them, reality become our reality, you know. So you can't go to a black person, really, and tell him, say, you know, so where you believe in a, a European ideas. If you're talking about Valentine's Day, Easter, Christmas, and all the things, them, the trappings that go with all these holidays, you know, like, you know, Rabbit and lay egg and all these things, and you know, I mean, a man dead and raised and gone up in the sky, 
and him go come back see him way. You know, I mean, Boxing Day, Valentine Day, Halloween. You name it, man. You name all of the things them where we know all as reality. And you realize say, all of them things there, all the, 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 even if you don't believe in it, just thinking upon it, you can't think outside of where them give you. It's weird. It's weird. In you know, this Western world that we are talking about, you know, because most people in you know, the Far East and them, you know, not believe like how we believe, you know. But because we were colonized by the Europeans, especially the, British, the English, we were colonized by them. So most of our fit, F A I T H, is, in, is, is embedded in where we get from them. And most of our fit, F A T E, get connected with where them, them decide what happened to me. Because obviously them are decide what happened to me. And when we realize now, say, you have hell and you have heaven. And the concept of hell where we have and the concept of heaven where we have is the concept of heaven and hell where them give way. It's amazing. So we want to play this tape. We want to play this tape as a kind of historical reference point. And also for really get the people them for kind of look into the thing. You know, figure it out. How we come to where we come to. How you come to the belief where you have. How you come to it. How you get to really believe where you believe in it. And actually now, would I put your head on the block for where you believe in it. When you don't know the origin of where you believe in it. Because if we didn't know. Because after them lick out all of them things out of way, you know. As African people who have come from Africa. With our things. I will come on here so now, them lick it out away and put other things in our way. And we surround them, we, we look and feed them with lifestyle and we have life as slaves. And we say, boy, this is how we want to live. So we adapt for them way and not only adapting for them way, no, you know. But we actually become them. We become them in a more ways than what. As a matter of fact, I will if a black people behave more like them than how them would have behaved. It's a serious thing. You know, your Malcolm X talk about when the slave master house abundant, we say we house abundant. And when the slave master sick, we say we sick. It's the same thing like when you go in a place to go buy something. And the, 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 the lady who are walking the, 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 the I walk the aisles and I sell. And you ask her for something. She said, when she said, she said, we don't have any, you know. Oh, she come, we don't have none. And I work, she worked for some little fool fool money. It's like, it's, it's like me that work at Irene. And I said, well, you want to see? We have built up a new steel <laughs> shallot. <laughs> I said, oh, we, oh, oh, we, oh, we come in at this. We is plural. You know, the, the, the owner of them are Billa. A Billa. Bill a, a studio. So make the, 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 like all of them have studio. How are that? Studio B? A, a studio B over there. So. You cannot imagine me go to the road and you want. So we just get a brand new studio. You know. Oh, we, we get a brand new studio. We don't have to do the studio. I saw black people talk. Black people include themselves in the other people things and make it personalize the thing like say, I feel them own. And look more why you want. So we don't work there again, you know. Them fire away. So we them fire now, you know. How we get fire and we are talking about our things. Well, it's that how the slave talk. The slave talk and become a part of the slave master ownership. That the slave master own him and him now start to own where him do own. Him start to become part of the things them that oppress him. And him start to internalize those oppression. And get what them call blissful about it. It's a weird thing. It's like oh, let them have to go fight for England. Because them are say, see they know we that prefer we kill have some German than German come rule with. We never want Hitler to rule with. So it's a good thing that we go fight for them because we never want to learn German. We don't talk German. 
But then we are talking English. We, we, we are talking English and we are helping. It are helping. It, of course, it are helping. It are helping to become part of the system. And we can't look outside of the system because we don't know another system. Because we never re educate ourselves into other systems, into other religion, religious beliefs, especially the religion. The religion is one of the most detrimental things to African people right now. A man who change in political ideology faster than him change in religious belief. Because the religious belief soak into him. That's why you have most, most of the school them in Jamaica was started by church. Most of the school them in Jamaica at church start them, you know. It's easier for you to go to church as a person who don't believe in the church than go to a school who you don't recognize the religion of the school. It's weird. Like the daughter the other day. The seven day business or oh, that create a national issue in Jamaica. So we are saying when we when when we examine, we are examining the things them where make us be we who we are. And everything will make us who we are seem to be negative. Or we sing, or we dance, or we eat, where we believe in her, or we dress, everything. I mean, just, just, just look on how them of the whole world are wear the same kind of clothes. If you have a farmer, you have to wear a jacket and tie and suit. How them get to do that? How them invent a phallic symbol with go ring on somebody's neck and choke them. We pint right to them parts. It's a phallic symbol. How them get everybody to do that? That means, you know, you can't, if you're going to look at job, you have to look a certain way to get the job, not your ability to do the job, you know. But your presentation has to be looking like how the slave master say, this is the right way to look. If your ear did eye, you have to go cut it. You have to go go, go, go trim. It's a weird thing. So when we think about angel, we actually believe that there's some things out there named angel. Like, the man, you believe in angel, Reggie? Uh, uh, there was a time when uh, I used to go with the flow, Muto, mm. you know, but then... When I started to work on the radio station, Galaxy Radio, there's a motto underneath it that says the only de-brainwashing station. And so we flip everything on his head, Muta Baruka. You know, so even L, E, anything that you see with E, L at the end, really comes, graduate on the essence of angel. And, yeah. So if you see anything with prefix or suffix with L, you know, it's in that kind of brainwashing vibration. So we flip the script from Galaxy Radio. Yeah. Well, I mean, I tell you, it, 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 it kind of mind-boggling. I mean, when you sit down and think on it, and you, you think on all the things there, we were all dear to me. Mm. You know, and I, I talk about, first of all, the religious symbols. Yes. The symbols in religion and the belief system were all faster. And when you look on all of them, is Europeans give you it? Mm. I mean, as people who did over Africa, they so now we did have our own thing go on for thousands of years. I will come across that so now and them lick it, lick it, lick it. And we are trying to find it back. But you see, if you are trying to find it back, the same African people, them, I say, as some little devil thing you work with. Because they must show you Anka's devil thing. Mm. They must show you all the, the eye of Horus as devil thing. They must show you the, the, the hieroglyphics on the wall of Egypt with the, 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 the animal head and the human body as devil thing. All of the things that we hold fast to symbolize certain concepts and ideas we will live for for thousands of years. All of them things that you now get dashed across the board you now and say, look you now, none of them things that you have to deal with you now. You know, come deal with what we want you to deal with. This is where we are deal with and not that you have to deal with. Mm. Because you don't know nothing else. You can't, you can't say, if, if it's not that, it's that. Because the only thing you have is this. So you can't, you can't say, all right now, make a wait. Make a do some critical thinking. Because until you start getting critical thinking, you know, you hear yourself, boy, you're gone across the board now. 
Mm. And you blaspheme now. You understand? So, if you want to do critical thinking, it's very difficult for the normal person, normal African, critically mm. analyze things for themselves. There is a, there, there is a, a fairness that was created in the subjugation of, of us as a mass. You know? And so even that fairness came out of, you would say, the, the, the organized church. They used to call it heresy. And so you would be scared to say anything that was not really... In line with the church. In line with yes. what they were dealing with. Otherwise you'd get beaten or you get your head chopped off. I, 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 I hear some reasoning. I, I, I want some reasoning upon the, um, the, the, the internet. Um, and the reason I tell you, say, look at now. This is where you believe you now. This is where you was given as a child. When you grow up now, you start to analyze the thing. But then put something else now you know if you say what you know. You see, if you start analyze it, you are sin. You're gonna make you're gonna blaspheme against mm -hmm. things. So don't analyze nothing. Just accept it. That's right. And and them go further. No, you know them. It's a fear factor. Them no, say, no, most definitely. Them say accept it, or else you're going to go to hell and burn and fire. Burn in a fire, burn, fire, eternal fire. Yeah, and you won't get used to it either. <laughs> no, Rasta. It 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 it, it rough. It rough. It really rough. So here we're going to do. We're going to play this tape here. Yeah. It's it, it not too long. It's not going to be one hour tape, one and a half hour tape. But we want the people them actually listen to it because we find it very interesting. I'm fine. Why we find it interesting is to find out, say, these concepts and ideas that we hold fast to in, in what we call truth. Really truth. It's, it's, it's not truth. It's, not, I'm not, it's, it's a next man truth. That's why I'm mean, saying there's, no, there's no such thing as the truth, you know. I, know, I know agree that there's a the truth. There's a truth. Mm. You understand? Because you can't tell a man, say, there, there was a man named Jesus who never take a man out of a, out a, out a tombstone and raise him and say, Lazarus, come forth and him come forth, you know. You can't tell people, say, no, no, go so, you know. You think you can't tell a woman, you can't tell people say a snake never did attack to a woman, you know. You can't tell people that because that in our book. And can you imagine how critical thinking don't allow you to say, oh, this, this, this serpent, this snake, the curse will come upon the serpent, you know, is that him shall crawl upon him belly. Mm -hmm. Then what the snake was doing before him get cursed? Him did a walk upright. I do understand these things. <laughs> and, and, and there was another curse, Uta. There was a curse on the woman. That yes, that she got a pain in her childbirth. And the reason why she got pain in her childbirth was because she cursed. Absolutely. Uh, what kind of man is that? And that curse will be e everlasting. No, right? you're the Christian telling us that you know, she said it's true. <laughs> you know, she said she have cur Of course, she have child uh, pain in her... And it's good all a man right that, you know. Can you never feel child pain yet? It's good all a man right that. But when you see, say, all right, so God cursed the man and him say, in pain, he shall have child, child. And then him curse the snake and say, him shall bruise the man heel and thing. That means, you know, him, him going to walk on the belly for ever, ever. I, I want to know what, how the snake was walking all the while. That's a good question. And then the next thing, you now, him say, he said to the man, buy the sweat of your bro. You shall. Eat bread. Mm. No bread never exists at them time. The man who don't know what is bread. Oh, the man are going to like 6,000 years ago, according to them. God looked on the man and said, buy the sweat of your bro. You should I eat bread? And the said, huh? What are you talking about? What do you have bread? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, really? Who write these things? You know, who write these things? It's a, you know, it's crazy. You know what, then no, we accept it. We accept it without critically thinking. But Muta, I must say though, we, we didn't accept it so eagerly in, in the beginning. We, we, were, we were tortured into accepting it, Muta. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, but you see, we do have nothing now to compare what we have with. It's like a man say, all right, it's like you say, you're not celebrate Christmas. And a man said, so what you have to put in place? Like? A man say, you say, you're not celebrate Valentine's Day. A man said, all right, so what you have to put in place? It's like, if, if you get rid of European... 
um, holidays, you have to have something to replace it with. Because them put it that you have to replace for them things. Mm. Why we have so much things? I mean, that's why I love Rasta. Rasta created more than the day. Him say, watch out. The second of November when I listen to say coronation, we're going to celebrate that as our well holiday. The, the 23rd of July when him born, we're going to mm. celebrate that. 17th of August, I'm going to have a birthday. We're going to celebrate that. Mm. You know, see, and if you don't mind, Sharp will say, Bob Marley's birthday the 6th of August, say February. We're going to celebrate that. So sure. we just have. We, we do our own thing and create our own reality and our own truth. Them now have the whole world. The whole world has celebrate this and I celebrate that. If you ask a normal Jamaican person, what is the meaning of boxing there? A normal Jamaican person don't know what the hell he's doing. All he knows is boxing day come after Christmas, so he have to celebrate it. Him keep the biggest party and say mm. boxing day, boxing day. I want to tell you, sir, if you ask a whole people about his time, good, I don't even know. If you ask most, <laughs> if you ask Sir Brian, you say, good, I don't even know why, why I'm celebrating his time. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> Brian same fly kite. <laughs> I guarantee you, I put it in that thing in there. No? I, I guarantee you, I put it in that thing in there. I guarantee you, you hear the youth say, he's time fly kite. kite. If you don't know what is the purpose of East Side, you know? uh, I don't know, joke him and make me, you know? He think I joke him and make, I don't joke him and make. If you don't know why is it that them have something named Easter and Good Friday, them don't know nothing about that. You understand? And really and truly, you know, mm. the, the indoctrination of the African people, them call the miseducation of the African mm -hmm. people, after we come now, and I reverse that instead of indoctrination, we say education. The same people, them who are maintaining this white supremacist ideas, which is black people, you know, because mm -hmm. not white people are not going to tell us a lie. I'm telling you, black people, that Jamaica say, Muta, Muta, idiot. Muta, Muta, he's the antichrist. Muta, no, sir, you know, see my madman, he's walk up and down barefoot. I saw them talking. Uh, they're going to call you later. Yeah, what I say is that it's the same people them who get brainwashed at the thing and you are trying now just give them a next perspective. You know, mm. tell them for change. You know, they'll say, all right, you think that way, yeah? Just think about this. Yeah, too, think yeah. about this later. Yeah, yeah. Them knowing that, that dogmatic, fundamentally, them nine at that at all, because where them get already is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. And do they do that cross thing across their cell? Eh? And do they cross, that, make that signal, that sign where they finish? Oh, you mean if them cross? And then do this sign with their hand across their face. You mean so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a Roman Catholic sign in the name of the Father. So yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people do that. Yeah. Put the, the preaching up across. Yes. It's terrible. Terrible. This is the cutting edge on RFM. The Guardian Life Flexi Term gives you the freedom of choosing your own coverage just for the time you need it. Premium payments are affordable and flexible while providing protection for all your life. I just said we're going to play this documentary. Yeah? We want the people to listen to it carefully because it's very important because of what we think and how they make way when they give it. it, it you see, I, I don't know if I don't know if they, 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 they I mean the world will come out of that biblical sure. perspective. Well, because you know, you, you know, you said um, schools. Mm. Yeah, in fact, if you study the history of schools in England, the first school was created by the Church of England. Yes. Yeah. In so, Jamaica too. All right. So, and then it was hundreds of years before the the state decided to get involved. So every school was a church school. And so you, we was educated in the religion. All uh, the British colonies, them, sure. the church, take me a great part in that. All right. You ever notice that in the, as a child, you, you read the Bible, but you read, well, you never read the Bible. So you are told what is in the Bible, and you never read it. Most Jamaican people don't read the Bible. Them, them, they, are, they are told what is in it. Mm. Uh, 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 There's an exception for me, though, because my, my father was like a, a pastor. Oh, your father was a pastor? Yeah, so I had to read it. Too. Oh, you have to read it. All yeah. right. 
But most Jamaicans don't read it, you know. Sure. But them know where you know it. Mm. So them think. All right. So when you grow up and look more now, like you say, you're conscious. Uh, you you kind of read it. Mm. You, know, you get conscious, you read it. You know, yeah. And yeah. You want to now move Jesus from white to black. Right? Mm. So the, 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 the look of Jesus now is supposed to make you feel more conscious. Mm -hmm. Because now he's not white again in black. Sure. But you still have the same concepts yeah. where the white Jesus have. You all it is transfer it now to the black Jesus. Mm -hmm. So the black Jesus walk on water, feed 5,000 sure. people. Sure, yeah. See? Mm -hmm. So you, you, you try to, where you really are trying to know, where, where I say you try to make sense out of nonsense. So you're, you're reading the Bible now, but you're reading it now with where you think is a a different perspective but the different perspective where you read it with now is like you're trying to make sense of all of the things them from mm. genesis to revelation sure and now put it in a context according to what you think mm. but all the context where you put it in it still aligned itself with where the europeans they don't figure it out already. Them, them, them don't figure out, you know, it's like Constantine, you know. Mm -hmm. Constantine, they don't figure out everything already, you know. All them just call the bishop them and say, look, you know, we don't come to agreement. The, the, the God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, is God, is Jesus Christ, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I just, Jesus Christ is the Son, and the God different. Him, they don't figure that out already, you know, because mm -hmm. him, they don't have him things them already. Mm -hmm. So what happened now is that them have, we know, a put, sense to it so when we hear about like i mean it, it's like we are saying it's, it's, it's not it's not real the thing not real so because it's not real now we are saying all right we are going to interpret it a different way mm -hmm. so the interpretation where we are getting you know, it's it's like you cut off your foot for fit the shoes mm -hmm. so you interpret the thing and when you interpret it now, it, it makes more sense to you that way there. Right. It's like when you talk about hell. Mm -hmm. All right, like the Pope said, heaven and hell is not this Pope. The Pope, mm -hmm. two Pope yeah, now. Yeah, you yeah, say, yeah. heaven and hell is not a physical place. It's like the Pope has said that, you know. Mm -hmm. But yet, if your grandmother dead, mm -hmm. and feel, say, when she dead, she's going to go to heaven, you know, mm -hmm. the sky. That's right. Or if you do wrong, you're going to go to hell. So you say, oh, you interpret it that way. Then. You're not supposed to interpret it that way. Then, because the Pope, no, come interpret it again for you, you know, you know. Where you really don't think already, you know. You don't think, say, well, if not hell, I don't want a physical place, you know. Him, the Pope, who is the vicar of Christ, mm. the representative of Christ on earth, come to you and say, if not hell, is not a physical place. So right away, you know, you say, oh, you're in line with the uh. reality of the situation, you know. But really and truly, him, they don't work it out for you already. Mm -hmm. You know, see, because what happens is that you are take for them things again. Instead, of you go to the Orishas. That's right. You know, if, if you go, all I do me, if you tell mm -hmm. them, if you go to the Kemetic, Isis, Uros, and Osiris, and you go to the Akan, you, if you go to Yoruba tradition, you know, go there so, you know. Mm -hmm. Because in now, care you go there so. What you do is use the same book and put different interpretations to the same book with them give you. And you try to make sense out of it now. The more you interpret it, you know, and the mm. more you feel say you make sense out of it, you know. But guess what? Mm. It's the same book. Yes, right. Mm. And it did there eh, for transcend, it did there eh, for move from one, one thousand years, two thousand years, three thousand years, four thousand years. So you start to say, well, you know, say, this part is not really real. This uh. is not that. This <laughs> is not this and this is not that. Here's how you got to interpret it now. So people start to interpret it. Cause you, all right, remember them say, the Egyptians build the pyramid. And you, they said the Egyptians build the pyramid. You know? Then them say, but Egyptians are not black people. But you get conscious and sure and say, but Egyptians are black people. Then no man write a book, a German write a book and say, but which one? And the Egyptians build the pyramid. You know? Some people from outer space. Yeah, that's right. You know, so it's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. The people from outer space build the pyramid. Yeah, that's right. And when them say the, 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 the people from outer space build the pyramid, you catch on on that you know, as a black person. Because you, know, you still can't figure out how black people could have built yeah, that. that. So them don't answer the question for you. Because know, the more you go in at the answer, you know, it's the more them give the answer. Yeah. So all when you say Egyptian build the pyramid, you say, but the Egyptians are not black people. 
And you start to figure out one left Egyptians are really black people. <laughs> and you start to say, yeah, but Egyptians are black people. And you say, yeah, but I know them they build a pyramid. Like some people from space uh, build the pyramid. Space. And you start to say, but I true, you know, some people from space <laughs> build the pyramid. All the while, if you step first, if you, if you step one step near to the truth, them they don't answer answer it for it. Mm. Answer it already. But you know, there's a confusion with, with you, you've been to Zimbabwe, Muta. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, the rock. Yeah, the, 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 well, the, yeah, the kingdom of Zimbabwe, the ruins now. Yes. Yeah, because that one did actually kind of did can put them in confusion too. Yeah, because them can't understand all the, all, all the people them build the thing them now, yeah, the stone. This is some stone. You know what they call the, the kingdom of the stones? Yeah, that's right, yeah, the great, the Zimbabwe. Yeah, the, yeah, the kingdom, great stones. Yeah, kingdom of the stones. Mm. When, you, when you go there, you see some stone. Giant stone, almost big like the studio. Yeah, so they put a little tip of one day that stone. Like, I said, oh, that part of <laughs> like, You see the stone, they just each other for the next stone. The stone with the front top is a massive stone. Sure. And the one right on it is a the little stone. stone. Yeah. And, you say, and, and a balance, then, sir. Yeah, just a balance. And then you go down in a day, which part of the rooms them there. And you see stone, pan top of stone, pan top of stone. And you say, but right in. Oh, the man them go up to go build that. You see, they will tell you now, they will tell you, say, I know African build it, you know. Yeah. They will tell you, say, boy, you want to have some space people come and right. build that, you know. Mm. And we connect mm. to them space because mm. we come from some. You, you understand? Because mm -hmm. them can't explain it, you know. And we, too, we can't explain it. Them answered for we. Mm. All the while. Mm. This is the cutting edge on RFM. So here we are going to do now. We are going to go to this thing. We are going to play with advertisement. Go on, click it. Books on. Start with the familiar, and the most familiar representations of angels appear at Christmas. They're on display everywhere, in shops, on cards. Children love them. Angels decorate our homes and our Christmas trees. A typical school nativity presents us with a classic image of angels. Dressed in white, with a tinsel halo and a pair of cardboard wings, homemade by doting parents. For many children, this is their introduction to Christ's story. And angels are there at the beginning. They appear at key events in the Bible. Angel Gabriel delivers the message of the Immaculate Conception to Mary. An angel tells the shepherds that Jesus is born. The Gospels tell us that angels are present at the crucifixion and the resurrection. They frame Jesus' life on earth. are not restricted to Christianity. They can be found in other cultures and religions. Gods and spirits in early civilizations were frequently portrayed with non-human characteristics, as animals with horns, with wings. Winged figures were shown with the pharaohs of Egypt thousands of years before the time of Christ. Winged spirits represented the other world, the journey from this life to the afterlife, and so they adorn Egyptian tombs. Already we see their symbolic and decorative function. From the ancient civilizations of Egypt and the Near East, they passed into other cultures. In the Greek and Roman world, depictions of winged beings really took flight. Greco-Roman culture was full of semi-divine beings who resembled... A ...place to look at them are familiar angels. Nike, the winged symbol of victory. Eros, a winged child with bow and arrow. What is Hermes, the winged messenger of Greek myth, but not an angel with flying shoes?
Could these all be a clue as to the angel's principal function? Well, the Hebrew word that's used for angel, the root is malach, which means a messenger. For example, one of the prophets of the Old Testament is called Malachi. That simply means my messenger. That's translated into Greek as angelos and into Latin as angelus. And so we get angel. The very root of the word tells us that this is perhaps the angel's most important function as a messenger. Perhaps the most celebrated messenger angel of all was Gabriel. Christian story, Gabriel tells Mary that she is to bring the Son of God into the world. Gabriel's name means literally God's hero. His name and title suggest he is an angel of the highest order, an archangel. But this angel Gabriel is not restricted to the Bible. Gibril or Jibrael appears to Muhammad. Muhammad was meditating in a cave when Jibrael appeared and pronounced to him Ikra, meaning read. He then recited to him the verses of the Quran, the holy book of Islam. Here too, Gabriel is entrusted with delivering the word of God, bridging heaven and earth. In the ancient world, people thought of the world in three tiers. Hell is at the bottom. The earth is in the middle and heaven is at the top. And that was the unseen world, the world of God, that was heaven. So when they looked up at the sky, they thought of the unseen world. That world was populated. For us today, of course, we don't think like that. Because when we look up there, we think of Star Wars and UFOs. But for the ancient world, it was full of beings, spirits, if you like. And those spirits came and visited us. They were all around us as well as up there. That's what the angels could do. They could come from one world to another. They could come from the third floor to the second. During the Middle Ages, an intricate hierarchy of heaven was established. It was depicted in detailed paintings and stained glass. Where angels stood in relation to God determined their rank within this kingdom of heaven. This model emerged not from scripture, but from the writings of the 5th century Syrian monk, Pseudo Dionysius. He divided the angels into nine orders and ranked them according to their importance. In this layered architecture of heaven, the highest angels were the seraphim and cherubim, those closest to God who exist only to worship him. Come the virtues, workers of miracles. The thrones bring justice. And the dominions regulate the heavens. Powers protect mankind from evil. While the principalities are concerned with the welfare of nations. And finally, the archangels and angels, now seeming very lowly indeed, as guides and messengers to human beings. Why did such a picture of heaven emerge? Why was there a need to organize the heavens? This hierarchy is perhaps modeled on the idea that he had of the church. Because the church for Dionysius, of course, was a hierarchy. There was a pope and a cardinal and bishops and priests, all the way down to monks, nuns and laity. So he modeled the angels on what he understood the church to be. And maybe he was trying to defend the hierarchical order of the church by saying, well, that's the way the angels work. That's the way we should work. This hierarchy of angels proved useful to the early church. For some, this was a convenient way of keeping God and man apart. The obsession and fixation on the nature and order of the heavens and its angels raged for centuries. Just as it reached its height in the Middle Ages, this vision of heaven was called into question. Following Dionysius, you come then to Thomas Aquinas, who lived in the 13th century, a Dominican friar who wrote about angels.
He was known, after all, as the angelic doctor. And you find in his work, you know, everything you wanted to know about angels, but were afraid to ask. Do angels eat? How fast do they move? Do they die? Do they have children? How do they communicate with one another? These were questions about the nature of angels. And it's caricatured, of course, by the famous question, how many angels can stand on the end of a pin? But in the 16th century, we have the Protestant Reformation. And the Protestant reformers were not at all keen on angels. Calvin said that's a waste of time. Go back to the scriptures. Read what the scriptures say about angels. You won't find the nature of angels being discussed in scripture, but you will find their work being discussed. The biblical account of Gabriel's visit to Mary bears no visual description of the angel. Neither does Mary remark that she has seen an angel. Mary hears the angel. So how do we know what angels look like? Over the ages, artists have had to visualize angels, and in doing so, they have affected the way we see angels forever. But the greatest trend in artistic depictions, be it in stained glass, paintings, or statues, is to humanize them. This has raised a whole host of issues and questions. The Hebrew Bible usually describes angels as men when they appear on earth, so they don't usually have wings. But we find that when they're shown in art from the 4th century onwards, that this starts to change. This is, of course, the time that the Roman state adopts Christianity as its state religion. And you find that the idea of the angel gets very bound up visually with Greco-Roman goddesses like winged victories, which are female goddesses in female robes with wings. So as art develops, you tend to find that you've got the male form, but wearing a sort of feminine, beautiful robe and with wings. So there's a sort of increasing feminization of the angel. They're not made totally feminine either. I mean, they're very rarely actually shown as women. They don't have breasts, but they seem to develop into an ideal of beauty, which is quite feminine. The Bible names Gabriel, Michael, Raphael, Ariel, these are male names, but rarely would you get a little boy today playing the part of the angel in the nativity. Perhaps it's safer to assume that angels are sexless. This avoids a whole host of embarrassing questions and thorny issues. Great Spirit, we ask for your love, your light, Today, angels are no longer restricted to organized religion. We ask for the room to be filled with angels. In some cases, they have bypassed religion altogether. And most of all, know that they are here. Some are scornful of this modern day spirituality. But there are countless stories of guardian angel rescues, warnings and interventions. Angels are even said to have averted car crashes. I heard a voice say to me that we had to move from the fast lane into the slow lane. We were starting to go through the tunnel. Then we actually noticed there was a car that had stopped across both lanes. Now, we couldn't see that from where we were, but the angels could see, and they knew that had we been in that lane, travelling at the speed we were, well, I probably wouldn't be here to relay this story to you. I've seen angels and felt angels since I was about a three-year-old. Yes. Never, ever doubt your angels are always with you. That's right. Always. As a human being, we need to have a reason for something. Maybe it's a scientist in us. We want to know that things can't just happen by coincidence. Because if everything is a coincidence, then we have no control. If there's something there that we can ask for and that will bring help when we need it, then that gives us a comfort. Everybody needs to talk to their angels. The modern angel is a protector, a friend. New faiths have spawned their own industry. There are countless publications on the subject. There are angel shops and boutiques. Angels can decorate your home as well as renew your spirit.
home to the city of angels, Los Angeles, and angelology has reached new heights. How many of you really get it? Here, mass angel seminars are held, where psychics use the power of angels to heal and cleanse. The prophets of the modern age? Oh, angels are absolutely real. I have no doubt. As a clairvoyant, I see them around every single person. What happens, though, is n not everybody listens to their angels, or we wouldn't have any cruelty or evil or even problems in this world. My work involves writing the messages I get from the angels, and then I give workshops where I teach people that angels are real and do something called angel therapy, which involves helping people to release their fears, release toxins from their body and their mind, and just generally to feel better with the help of the angels. Archangel Michael, we ask that you cut any cords of fear Letting go of guilt, which Michael says is the lowest energy, which literally clips our wings. All right, is there anyone here who has a question for the angels about their love life? Come on up, let's give them a hand. Hi. Come on up here, come on. Come Don't on come on up. Yeah, you have to come right here. Oh my God. Yes, you, you didn't read that in the program brochure? Okay, Kira. I want to meet somebody that um, that I can love and will love me back with the same energy and passion. God, I'm looking for somebody with passion, please. Passion. Passion's nice, yeah. Passion for life, passion for love, just passion. Beautiful. The angel is reaching for, it's supposed to be a star, but it's shaped like a heart. Oh. Oh, wow. So what's the message for Garrett then? Open his heart and let him reach for his heart to another heart. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, beautiful messages. Beautiful. It means peace that I can go on with my life to know that I have some other comfort and divine guidance with God and with the angels also. What they show me is not just this partner, but there's kind of a stack of friends that didn't, didn't live up. Like you've trusted people. And you've done good for them, and then you've been disappointed. Everybody I ever cared for has always hurt me and stabbed me in the back. So That's, I feel like that, I can't trust anybody or yeah. love anyone. They just showed me a gun and a bullet. One of my friends was killed by another friend, one of my best friends. With a gun? Recently, okay. my, my best friend, her, her friend got killed recently. You deserve good. You deserve peace. You deserve love. You are a beloved child of God who's your real mother and father. And now, taking a deep breath, and on the exhale, let go of all toxins. Go. I felt that. It's just a, a wonderful way to live, to have angels in your life. Gently ask your third eye to open, awaken, and see love. Whatever you get is perfect, blessed, beautiful. The idea of a protecting God is an ancient one. The Greeks believed that each person was assigned a protector for life at birth. The Romans similarly believed that each woman had a guardian angel called Juno, and each man one called Genius. Jewish tradition has it that each person is accompanied through life by two angels, a good angel to guide them and a bad one to tempt them. This idea was taken up by Christians, and belief in guardian angels boomed during the Middle Ages. Today, Catholic children are still taught to say a prayer to their guardian angel. In the modern age, the idea of the guardian angel, the comforting angel, has become the most popular one. Angels adorn headstones in our cemeteries. 
they accompany us from this world to the next. to believe in a protective force is more powerful than ever. It's surely no coincidence that battlefield nurses during the First World War were commonly known as angels of mercy. But angelic encounters of a more supernatural kind were not unheard of either. The scars of the battle still remain. An all too vivid reminder of past horrors. In August 1914, the British and German armies faced each other at Mons, Belgium. What followed was a fierce battle, culminating in the surprise victory of the British over their superior opponents. The odds had been stacked against them. Almost immediately, Rumors circulated. Had there been some kind of heavenly intervention? In Britain, the press leapt on the story of the victory. There had been reported visions of angels, a savior for the troops. was born. Was it a miracle? A sign of divine intervention on the side of the Allies? Or had the truth lost out to myth? Belief can often be stronger than fact. A holy war is seen as a just war, and angels have joined their ranks. And leading the heavenly armies, we find one general in particular, the Archangel Michael. His name means who is as God, and this name was the war cry of the heavens in the battle between good and evil. He's been adopted by many as a symbol or mascot. At Castel San Angelo in Rome, Michael casts his protective gaze over the Eternal City, standing guard, ready to defend its people. The Archangel Michael is shown as a warrior angel. He's often shown wearing armor and is intended to be quite an imposing figure. This is someone who is vitally involved in the battle against the devil and he needs to look like someone who actually can protect humankind. Often paintings show him defeating the devil, trampling on him or having cut off his head and it's very explicit so that we know he's out there fighting for us. Michael is also often shown with a set of scales. He uses these to weigh the souls of humankind in the balances. They're actually weighed against little devils to decide where that human soul will go, to heaven or hell. Michael's role as protector of the forces of good was echoed in the 1950s, when Pope Pius XII made him patron saint of policemen. Michael is the ultimate protecting angel. But what kind of protecting role do angels have in today's culture? In Gateshead, in the north of England, stands a very imposing protector. Anthony Gormley's sculpture, the Angel of the North. The northeast of England is very much about regeneration. It has been for decades. And I think you can really put the angel as a, a milepost for uh, regeneration. The people of the area have taken it to their hearts. It is symbolic. They always see it when they're coming back on the train or on the road on the A1. They see it as a welcoming sign back to Gateshead, back to Tyneside, back to the northeast of England. And uh, it's interesting that if you had asked a child in this area 
10 years ago to draw an angel, they probably would have drawn an angel with feather wings. Today, they'll probably draw an angel with steel wings. So it's actually changed what has become a traditional image. Angels don't only protect individuals and armies, but whole regions. From Rome to Gateshead, winged figures watch over us. Angels fly above us. They bring heaven closer to our world. But angels are not always what they seem. Young American soldiers returning from the Second World War established one of the most notorious clubs in the world. We're part of society that doesn't fit in with the rest of society in, in a mainstream concept. There's an underworld wherever you go on this planet. When the veterans came back from uh, World War II, members of the bomber wing and the uh, paratrooper wing were uh, a little displaced, uh, probably didn't feel like they fit in too well, and uh, you know, continued uh, the camaraderie and brotherhood that they uh, you know, had developed uh, flying missions over Europe. If you speak to anybody uh, that uh, goes through a period of time in their life uh, when uh, life's value doesn't uh, seem to hold much value. Back in those days, they didn't uh, have uh, uh, names for it. Uh, you know, nowadays, uh, you know, you can sit down and talk to a psychologist and come up with all types of different uh, theories and ideas. But, uh, you know, these guys were uh, patriotic, courageous men. Rebellion is what uh, initially drew me to the Hells Angels. We've uh, been bombed, uh, had hand grenades thrown in here, uh, uh, you know, been gunfights out in the street, uh, we've uh, been the target of uh, state and federal uh, you know, prosecutions, which uh, all started out uh, as a big bang. And uh, the name itself is a huge statement. But who were the original Hells Angels? These are the fallen angels, and the accounts of angels falling are full of sex and violence. In one account, Lucifer is jealous of God's love towards Adam and leads a revolt against him. The concept of a fallen angel is based, of course, on scripture. The first letter of Peter talks about God punishing sinful angels by sending them down into hell. There is a tradition also that angels had intercourse with humans, and that didn't please God. There's the story in Isaiah of the fall of Lucifer. Lucifer was a good angel, the bearer of light, that's what his name means. But because he disobeys God and he becomes proud, pride is the problem, he tries to get as good as God, he is thrown out of heaven. The ultimate hell's angel is of course the devil. The name is thought to have come from the Greek words for throw out and spirit, diabolos and demon. In the Roman world, they became synonymous with evil forces and entered Christian writing as a dark and negative spirit. In the Bible, the devil is portrayed as a serpent or dragon, the leader of all the fallen angels. He's the tempter of Adam and Eve. He's known as al Shaitan the classic tempter. Through frightening visual representations, the devil and fallen angels have haunted our imagination. Yeah, the time is 12 o'clock on the dot. Brothers and sisters, this is Jan. Join us with respect for our national anthem. Let us stand and defend this one. Peace and love. Thank you. Eternal Father, Bless our land, oh, guide us with thy mighty hand, keep us free from evil power. Do I will lie through countless times to. Do I 
Jamaica from a different point of view at Oceans on the Ridge. Because we feel say it's necessary and important that we look on the other level. You understand? Because we get one side. So this I show you the side still, you know. But you have to understand where you get your thinking from. You know, what people don't even know say where they might think is not what them want to think, you know, it's what was instilled in us. That allow us to think that way. And we don't have nothing for, for guide way outside of what was taught to us. You know, we don't have no comparison for work with. Most of the things is that this is right, and that it be, and I saw it go. And until you start to think outside of the box, then you become like an outcast. So we are playing this tape here with the understanding that you really recognize where the origin are your thinking come from? We do have nothing historical reference point. Nothing. The easiest way that artists have been able to depict the differentiation between good and evil angels is quite simple. It's quite an easy trick to do. You just change the color, give him horns, protruding eyes, and sometimes add a tail. The thing immediately becomes evil and sinister. Angels invoke terror and fear, and the good angels can be just as frightening as the bad. Angels can be quite frightening. Martin Luther, for example, prayed that he would never meet an angel. And when you look at the Bible stories, you can understand that. When Jacob, for example, saw the ladder from heaven to earth and angels going up and down on it, he was terrified and he said, this is a place of fear. This must be the house of God. But fear comes into it. When he went to the grave after the resurrection, found it empty and angels standing, guarding the grave. And the first thing the angel says to the women is, don't be afraid. There must be a reason for people to be afraid of angels. They're not necessarily going to bring good news. They can be quite terrifying. Angels can be good and they can be bad. The good can be terrifying and the bad can be very alluring. Misconceptions abound. I really don't think about Satan or associate uh, any of my activities with any type of uh, satanic ideology or philosophy or anything that has to do with that. As to us being a, you know, a large criminal entity is, you know, it's it's preposterous. I think that any organization that's been around, you know, near to 60 years have you know, we do activities all the time for people. You know, we are uh, an intricate part of this community. Uh, you know, whether the city fathers want to realize it or recognize it, uh, I find that uh, Hell's Angels uh, can be very uh, benevolent. Angels are the product of theological imagination cultural imagination, mythical imagination, artistic imagination, all mixed together in a rich melting pot. There can be four-headed, six-winged and multi-eyed angels, or of course, one of the most abiding and popular images of all. The angel is a cute, childlike cherub. They decorate Christmas cards and have also made it onto our 
quintessential romantic Renaissance babies are often portrayed as winged young boys who strike at the hearts of couples in love. Allora, gli angeli vengono rappresentati nel Rinascimento come eh, bambini eh, perché appunto c'è questa ricerca eh, del bello ideale e i bambini sono eh, l'emblema delle eh, proporzioni tornite, eh, comunque armoniose, eh, dove la muscolatura non è così accentuata e quindi ehm, la pittura può realizzare dei passaggi chiaroscurali molto delicati e, eh, poi comunque la tenerezza eh, per eccellenza la visione del bambino e quindi la figura angelica eh, rappresenta un po' eh, l'iconografia ideale nel bambino. Cupid is the most famous of the little angels. He is portrayed as a frolicking child, innocent and mischievous. But he carries a deadly weapon. The most dangerous thing in his possession, in fact, was the bow and the arrow. And they could be used to pierce the heart of anybody. And therefore, um, you, he could do it surreptitiously because you weren't conscious of a child having this power. So it was again linked up with mythology and it had an element of danger and wickedness. Therefore, that's why the cherub always smiles. The cherubs also work visually very well with certain subjects, like, for example, the Virgin Mary with the Christ child on her lap. It seems very natural, then, that the Christ child is playing with other little children who fly down whatever he's doing. We have to remember that when a lot of these paintings were made, many, many babies died. And even though the idea that angels are dead baby souls is heretical according to the church, this perhaps was something of a comfort. It certainly also makes these paintings appealing to us even now. Cherubs are actually the cherubim, the second highest rank of angels. In scripture, they are assigned the task of guarding the gates of Eden after Adam and Eve are thrown out. Hardly innocent babies. The cherubim and seraphim were often shown with one, two, or three pairs of wings. But artists have freely embellished and adapted the form, function, and type of angels. Artists have relegated the cherubim to the ranks of decorative children or putti. image of angels as perfect youthful beings, babies without the human flaws of flesh and blood. This image reached a peak of sublime grace during the Renaissance age. The angel became increasingly ornamental, decorative and cute. perform a number of functions and assume many identities. They carry messages from God. They guide and comfort. But there are also the darker elements, the fallen angels, the angels at war. Caravaggio's ethereal beings, or Anthony Gormley's Angel of the North, they seem to have one thing in common, wings. Surprisingly, the earliest depictions of Christian angels don't have wings. These are images in the catacombs of Rome, dating from the 2nd century AD. There was little means of identifying 
angels. Not until the 5th century did Christian angels begin to be regularly depicted with wings. And from then on, they would rarely be found without them. I think angels have wings for two reasons. One, so that we, the viewers, will recognize that they are angels. When they're described in the Bible, it's often not clear to the people that they're interacting with that these are angels. But of course, when we look at visual representations of those stories, we need to know who is the mortal and who is the angel. So wings are a way of making that very clear. Wings are also a really marvellous way for artists to give vent to their wildest imaginings. They can be quite naturalistic and look like birds' wings, or they can be fantastic, flowing curls and uh, really extraordinary creations. So I think artists love the angels' wings. Far with them. Theologians, along with artists, sculptors and authors, have grappled with the problem of how to bridge the earthly and heavenly worlds. How to imagine and envisage these celestial beings that do not belong to our world. There are winged messengers in Egypt. There are winged messengers in Greece and Roman mythology. So it wasn't anything new. The gods had angels with wings. And maybe that was the best way of transport. After all, if you believed in the three-tiered universe, how do you get from one place to the other? How do you get from heaven to earth? Well, the quickest way to do it was by flying. So angels are depicted with wings. Does the fact that angels have wings reflect our own aspirations to fly? After wings, the most frequently depicted feature is the halo. A nimbus, a circular crown of light denoting holiness. Another convenient way for artists to draw attention to the divinity of angels and to distinguish them from humans. In the Bible, angels were created when light was created, at the dawn of creation. Italy, the cradle of the Renaissance, and angels are everywhere. Christian kings, emperors, religious orders, and wealthy merchants generated a massive angel industry. Le principali caratteristiche del Rinascimento nell'arte e nell'architettura vedono lo studio eh, nei gesti, nei colori nelle espressioni della ricerca del bello ideale vengono rappresentati da eh, autori importantissimi come Raffaello, Leonardo, Michelangelo eh, nelle varie eh, sfaccettature dell'arte, nell'architettura, nella pittura, eh, nella scultura eh, c'è un ritorno alla eh, bellezza ideale dovuta anche allo studio approfondito che in questi anni eh, viene dato all'antichità The Renaissance is a time when there are all sorts of wealthy and influential people that have got money to spend who are commissioning so many paintings. And some of it is about meaning, but some of it is about showing off and just having fantastic things to put on the walls of the palace that you're just building. They also wished for status. Statues and various other artifacts were being discovered and they wanted copies of them. It was to employ artists or sculptors to make exact copies of these things. The artists did what they were told. There was no thing such as creativity, it was repetition of earlier art. Therefore they could rule and tell you exactly what they wanted to do. There was in some cases a political element as well, especially the Medicis. The Medicis used artists not only to produce beautiful pictures, but also to convey their political status. One artist in particular stands out, Caravaggio. His angels are painted with an extraordinary degree of realism. The ordinary everyday people who modeled for him were the basis for these sacred figures. 
anche nella figura di San Matteo e l'Angelo del dipinto eh, che fa parte della serie di San, della chiesa di San Luigi di Francesi eh, l'Angelo interviene nella scena rappresentata, tanto che eh, la prima opera realizzata da eh, Caravaggio, appunto rappresentante San Matteo e l'Angelo, fu rifiutata eh, dagli ecclesiastici perché l'Angelo aiutava direttamente San Matteo direttamente nell'azione dello scrivere. Even today in Italian towns and cities, angels are everywhere. The angels of Botticelli, Raffaello and Michelangelo remain as marketable as ever. All over the world, angels continue to inspire artists. The reason for coming somewhere like this look at the angels that have been carved here and placed high up in the chapel there is feeding the imagination the subject is an interesting subject in a sense because we've created them somewhat in our own image and it's that looking at ourselves or at a better version of ourselves which is one of the attractions that angels have to us all that here is a human being in a more idealized state than we are Perhaps we have athletes in the same way in this day and age, and models and film stars and pinups in the same way that people in the past had angels. They are, in a sense, more than people that we look up to. Children are fascinated by angels, and from a very early age, they instinctively know how to draw them. robes and with light. Angels in heaven express joy much as humans do on earth. By singing, dancing and playing music. images show them in choirs. The hierarchy of angels grouped them into three choirs. Again, this was proof of an organized, tiered structure in heaven. The joyful, harmonious choirs of angels sang in praise of God with one voice, one sound. Angels get shown in choirs and playing music, I think, for two reasons. Part in the Bible, Psalm 150 actually describes the use of timbrels and drums and voices and harps and that sort of thing. But also, of course, it relates to the people who are going to look at these images. It relates to how we celebrate and honor special occasions, special people on earth by playing music. Angels were given the popular instruments of the Renaissance age to play. The lute, the fiddle, the flute, the sackbut were all deployed as part of a celestial orchestra. The harp has perhaps become the instrument most associated with angels. But the lute, the prince among courtly instruments, is also often shown. This instrument was frequently used to accompany the voice during the Renaissance. Whose voice were the angels accompanying? God's voice. deliver bad as well as good news, so the music is not always something we want to hear. Gabriel, it is said, will announce the last judgment with an apocalyptic trumpet blow. It will hardly be a comforting sound. Today, we are surrounded by angels. In religion, in art, and in culture. 
is a deluge of information about them. Their history, their ability to guide and protect. There are countless definitions, descriptions, interpretations, and even encounters. They are as popular as ever. Our fascination with them shows no sign of diminishing. History of Angels. This is the cutting edge on RFM. We just brought to you a, a documentary about the origin concepts, ideas around the idea of and without a doubt, you hear it all center around Europe Europe. There, there's nothing in it that tell you that there is any West African thing. They mention Egypt, by the way, because you know that the Egyptian them have these ideas as mythologies. It's mythology. It, it, it is, it is a way of the the, 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 the Kemetic Egyptian people them use symbols to depict human characteristics. Like you have the animal head with the human body. What the animal head represents is the character or the, 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 the way of a human being. Different human beings have different characteristics. They use the animals to... It's like when I... My dog. You know that man is not dog, but... They might use the dog for sure certain characteristics of human being, especially a man. When a man, when, 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 when a woman say man a dog, she really has said that the man love what go around the place promiscuously. That is really what she has said. So she used the dog as a metaphor to describe the behavior of human being. That is all the Egyptians them used to do. So when you see the Egyptian motifs them, don't make nobody tell you about this devil worship business. Them never have A, B, C, D, E, F, G in those days. Them have hieroglyphics and they use these drawings to depict characteristics of human beings. As I just said before, man a dog. You'd have, you'd have use a man head. Sorry, you'd have use a dog head. Somebody, for sure, say man a dog. Because dogs, especially mongrel dogs, Go all over the place searching for sexual activities. And that is really describing I'm a promiscuous person. So, it's not devil thing when you say the Egyptian motifs them. And people say some devil thing because see the, the man of animal head. And it, 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 from North Africa to South Africa, from West Africa to East Africa, it's the same ideas that permeate African traditions and culture where they use birds and animals and all the insects too. Even insects they use. They describe what is human character. But when they come down through the European mind, it becomes so literal that there's no room to think outside of what them say. No room. When them tell you something, them say, this is what it is, this is history, this is so it go. We know the ideas in, in, in Egypt as mythologies. Mythology is not a lie. Mythology is just dear to ascribe and describe a certain way and behavior 
in our in our call in our society that the, the the mythology is developed for and you have mythologies all over in every human um is in, in every part of human history and human space people develop mythologies Rituals is like a mythology. You really use things to get to a level. Like you start up, you start at ten, to get to one. But you use certain things that is prescribed in that cultural space to come to an understanding and a conclusion about where you try to look for. The Europeans literalize. A whole heap of African traditions. So you can't get to the, the essence of the tradition. Because they literalize it so much. That there is no essence. There is no, there is no life. That is generated out of the, the literalization of certain things. So when you hear about like. Noah and the Ark. For instance. Realized to make you feel that there was actually a man named Noah with his son them and his wife them going on a 500 foot boat and take a pair of every animal that was living at the time and put in a 500 foot boat and stay there for how much days and God wipe out everything upon the, the earth and, and, and cover the earth with water. So we literalize that and we say it's history. And you can't tell a Christian say it never really happened that way. You see. You don't understand that people write in them given space at a given time based upon of them experience and based upon of what they want to portray. Both socially, politically, and spiritually. So a lot of the writings is not necessarily spiritual you know sometimes a lot of the political and you can't look on even the writings where them where they ascribe to a man named moses if you look at moses moses one of the biggest politicians them in the bible the move them where he make and how him set up himself and set up theme tribe is very political you are more politics than a man who say him going to build a tabernacle and build an inner city and build an inner court at the tabernacle and his own film tribe can go inside of the inner, inner, in, in the inner space and decide what God say and then come out and tell the people them say God said it. That is theocracy, you know. Theocracy at its highest level. Where you not going to see God, you know. It's him going to tell you where God said by going into the tabernacle, going to the inner court. And him now carry the tribes of Benjamin or Judah or Gad. He now carry the tribe of Fim tribe. Priests. So him designate the Fim tribe as the priest. As the, these people can talk to God. And then him said, no one foot man, no man with flat nose, nobody like that can enter the inner court of, 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 of the Lord. And they have this box. Where them say it's, 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 it's a representation of God. So them lock up in there. Decide and then come out back and say, Does say the Lord God of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, does say it God, do this, do that, and don't do that, do that, do that. Any man will do that shall be put to death. Any man will do this, don't do that, and all these things. It's them and make the law, so it's politics. It's politics. So we are say that we know, African people, who don't know nothing about the Yoruba tradition. We don't know about the Zulu traditions. We don't know about the Akan traditions. And now we are search. But we search. We are turned to demons. Well, that is what they want to tell you. They might tell you that we are turned to demons because we are search for our, say, our thing. Our thing. Cupid and our thing. A little baby with an arrow. That sounds like some pedophiles that go around the place. I, I try to make angels into little babies. And a little baby with a little horror. I stick you and, and, and say you're supposed to. That is, that, is, that is mythology. 
That is European mythology. It do have nothing to do with we. We can ascribe that to our cultural space and our spirituality. Because the more you go into that space, is the more you become that space. And then you lose yourself totally. And that is the purpose of those things. That's why them know it's not them use certain other things to globalize. It is to make you lose your sovereignty as a people. So you don't really consider your sovereignty as any as necessary again. But we are all in what we call the new world order. But the new world order is controlled by individuals who do have nothing to do with our cultural, political, social, and spiritual existence. Nothing. They are not going to impose something on the world. Well, maybe the Western world. I don't see the world because really and truly you have certain people who, who, who are not in the Western world. Now I got stand for Americanization of them culture. Them take the economics and things, but you see when them set them culture, them culture is what keep them. The greatest revolution is a cultural revolution. The Chinese show you that. And the Chinese adapt capitalism, but Chinese people is culturally Chinese. And them go around the world and controlling this and controlling that. But you see, when you get down to them, them is Chinese. White people is white people. You see them go around the world, go around the world, but when you get right down to it, them is Europeans. Them just go here and there and control and manipulate, which is the problem with them have. Them don't respect other people's space. Them go into the other people's space and control it, manipulate it, and then people now become them. It's like a black man saying he's French. Because the French make you feel like he's French. As opposed to the British, we say, you're British, but you're not English. Go to school, Bridget. <laughs> I think you're going the right, exactly right way. Well, it's definitely, the, the, the French had this policy where they wanted to, that they, they wanted to incorporate their empire yeah. on, on, a, on, a, on a hierarchy level. Mm. Yeah, so they they could convince black people and Africans that they they, are French. They, that you're French. You yeah. you know, a bit like bit like a Roman Empire convinced yes. a Af Roman. Africa that you yeah, that you're a universal Roman Catholic. They, that you yeah. That I, you're, I would probably people don't know say Roman Catholic means a universal Roman, you know. That's right. Because Catholic means universal. Mm. So if you're a Roman Catholic, you're under the auspices of the Vatican City. Nice, no, definitely. So, uh, you know, for your black people to them is Roman Catholic. It's one of the brainwashing them where I come realize about how oh, oh, black people become universal Romans anywhere you're there and you're a Roman Catholic. You're under the auspices of the Rome, of the, of the Pope, not even Rome, because Rome and the Vatican are totally different. Mm -hmm. Country by itself, even though it's surrounded by Rome. Mm -hmm. But that country by itself, it has its own police force, own bank, own everything, own laws, own doctrine. Sure. So you was under the control of of the the world church. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and um, and you better believe it because they, as you say, they had an army. Yes. And and their army was vicious. Terrible. Go all over the place for ignite and create wars and rumors of wars. And sometimes they they, they had proxy mercenaries. Yes. And one of those one of those proxy mercenaries was um, was a, a a king called Shalaman. Yes. And what he did for the for the for the Roman Church was that he took their, their policy and took it right across northern Europe and murdered off millions of Europeans in the in the mission of Christendom. Christ yeah, mm. At that time, it was Christendom until like Europe. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so from Germany and from uh, from the Nordic areas, including yeah. France, France yeah, yeah. 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 murdered off. And then you did have the Knights so. Templar, yeah, who went into Jerusalem, wipe out long and then them end up get wiped out too. Sure, you see, because them real, them, they, the same Europeans them wipe them out because them that get so powerful. Yeah, you know that. That's why we have. Well, I, I am told that. 
That's why you have Friday the 13th. That's the, that's the one, yeah, that's the reason. Yeah, Friday yeah. the 13th was the day when they massacred the, the Knights. Yeah, the when, they, when they took them out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you wrote that history, that's a serious thing. That's a serious thing. It is, Muta. But, you know, you, 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 you ran that, that, uh, that documentary, mm. and I don't know, I didn't, well, I, or I missed it, but there was a, uh, it's come to my understanding that there is a angel, a phenomenal angel, that was not mentioned. You try them. Samuel. Samuel. Uh, Samuel. Really. No, no, yeah, not Samuel. Because no, Sam, no. Samuel was a, was a general. Yes. But there's an angel called Samael. Yes. Yeah, which is uh, very high ranking. Yes. But it wasn't mentioned. W- who was that angel? Well, it is. Um, well, I-, I wonder if any- anybody can remind me. Cause I- I- we would have yeah. to go up on the internet. For yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, I, I just said all of them end with L. Yeah, all of them is Samuel, L. Michael, yeah. you know, Raphael. Raphael. Yes. <laughs> and and, and it, it, ironically, that all of these images that you hear mentioned in a day, you hear them mention certain art, artists like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci and Raphael. You know, Raphael. All of these you Italian artists, them is the ones who give with the image. Sure. We're imprinting our psyche for hundreds of years. Yes. Can't come out of it. Mm. And it, as you said, it was an Italian invention. Yeah. Three, three artists, them. One of the three main artists, them in, a, in a Italy. Mm. Especially Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Mm. They gave us all the images of Christianity that we now hold dear and hold fast to. That's right. It's, it's amazing. It's and, amazing. And they actually gave us, it was the same ones who gave us this other angel. Well, it wasn't. Oh, angel. Jesus, I think they gave us that one too. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. Them give us that. Them give us that. It's a terrible thing. Italian invention. Yes, yeah. yes. I we can't understand it neither. Yeah, because that we hold fast, you know. We hold that. I more than we art, you know. The the, 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 the invention of Jesus, they mm. hold it in our art to the point of die for it too. Yeah, because it give us a kind of ignorance is bliss, hope. That one there is, you know, your man has said, "Why the 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 the, the, the religion after you're dead?" He must say, "Him love this life <laughs> and him want it better for me when we're alive." Sure, you know. So when you're dead, it you take care of itself. Sure, you know. So when, when man start to promise you life after death, and when you look at him, him or him live. Is above the the level of where you that you you really want to live like how him live you know in this life. But mm. the tell you say it's like the, the, the televangelist them. When the tell you say just bring your offering, one hundred dollar will make you have it grow seeds. You have, you have, I don't ever see him yet. No, this, this evangelist up on TV. He might tell you must make your money, put your money like a seed and mm. it will grow. But it's him you give the money you know, uh. and it's going to grow. He's got it for you. Yeah, and when you look, you see him with a big jet. Take them easy. Take them easy. And over the years, even the popes do it, you know. One time the popes, you have a pope and they like collect money. That we... All right, here one now. You don't have to repent. You don't have to pray or nothing. You just give your coins them, and he will direct Jesus Christ to take you into heaven. You, 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 you know, I'm going to go to hell. Just, mm. If I give these money... I mean, seriously, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, that popes would do that in our history, you know. Yeah. We take people money and say, all right, you are now. You don't have to go to purgatory. You can bypass. You can bypass purgatory and everything and just go right to heaven straight with Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you just, you just collect your money. Just collect the money. <laughs> they, did mention, they, they did mention this, this banking family called the Medici. Ah, the Medici, yeah, and the Rothschilds, and these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, the the it sounds like they were working for them as agents. Of course, yeah. Rothschild, Medici, you know, I mean Rockefellers, all of them is part of that Italian invention. That Italian invention. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cutting edge. They are with you. Click it. What if you could get a free trip for two to New York for five days and four nights, free hotel accommodation, free transportation, plus a... Yeah, this is the Cutting Edge and I refer. We're talking to my Virginia. 
Muta Ano, from Galaxy Radio, them call him the technical director. Yeah, Muta, you did say it, uh, it looked like I did print them off just like first night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. I 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 joke. The cry of Luke Chris was the only deep breath he been watching station mm -hmm. in England. Yeah, man. Oh, can't think that's in the world. Like. Well, we say in the world too, but yeah, we just big up ourselves. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. The only deep breath watching station, Galaxy Radio 102.5 FM, Muta Ano, uh, technical director. Yeah, yeah what, 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 what we tried to do on the station, Muta, is that we tried to make the station uniformly, the, the all the programs. Uh, 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 aspire to the deep brain was you yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. We, so we don't have any reverence and stuff on any, any any imams okay okay no Muslim no Christian no way that's beautiful that's beautiful mm -hmm. alright we they are sharing the bridge and we they are sharing the people them about the different Catacalypse, calypse where we find ourselves in a as African people over the years and how oh, we come to where we is and how oh, we believe and are we are we strong or are we brave enough for deep brainwash yourself or really care to self and get out of the indoctrination that was placed in us most of us seem not to be brave enough because we are so contented in our ignorance we are so blissful in our ignorance because them tell us that ignorance is bliss and most of the time it's really stupidity and are we willing to gather information that is presented to us because in those days we never have so much information like we are running around the place now so is it really rough if we have so much in sorry, information I go around the place and then don't yield to these informations to really come to a critical thinking about what was fed to us. Fed like hogs. And now food now come to where we still I eat it. Both physically and spiritually. We now get no food. And instead I would try to plant our own food, not only in the ground, but in our minds and in our brains. We're still allowing them to feed us, feed us, feed us continuously. How can a people that has so has been so dehumanized and degraded still after so much years recognizing that there's so much thing that is around us and knowing the information is power. The people with the more information is them going control. Are them is controlling because the information that these colonial people have, white supremacists have, that them feed, feed us with to make us accept and become their personality. We are becoming them, even more than all them is them. It's a weird thing. Black people defend. I mean, it's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. In a Jamaica, black people are killing black people like, wow. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I stress the point, you know, I, mean, I degrade nothing, you know. But I'm going to say it because it's on my mind. I say, black people are killing black people like, wow, in a Jamaica. Hmm. And there are the two white men dead. And the Minister of Education, I call, not sorry, the Minister of National Security, I call for dead penalty. Where does that show me? That show me, say, of all the black people, them, we are dead. <coughs> Nobody never says them for call for dead penalty. It's the most vicious thing ever happened, you know, in a Jamaica right now, you know. That's right. Two white men dead. It's from St. Mary. Yeah, two. I mean, it's like, you say, oh, people could have reached a level there and then you say no yeah but them reach a level so how come so much are we the dead 
And you never hear, the, 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 I mean, like, the uproar we are going on, so now it's like, rotted, wait, you know. And when I say, we don't feel it, you know, we feel it because people, you know. Mm -hmm. And murder, the murder rate in Jamaica, terrible. You know what I mean? But if you know, say, when you see a guan, and all you see them angry thing, it's like, oh, so we must bring back death penalty now to two white people dead. We must bring back death penalty. Death penalty now stop murder rate from murder from people murder people. They must know that. Cause most of the country them where death penalty not exists. Our death penalty exists. It no, there's no proof that the crime rate go down because of the death penalty. And in a Jamaica now you can't even trust the justice system. You go hang all a man and then two years after three years another man there. You know what people they are prison when not guilty and nothing. But him just in at the wrong place at the wrong time. And just get caught away there. Mm -hmm. It's a weird thing. It's a weird, weird thing in a Jamaica. Weird, weird. I mean, most black people really. How it get get away there, we don't know. And then them have we have belief in these things, believe in these things and take it to heart. Like, you know. If you don't believe in this, we're damned. Damned. Musa, you know, there's a, uh, a understanding that uh, there's so much innocent people in Jamaican prisons. For We say innocent now because they're sent to prison for marijuana. Mm. Yeah. Them not say them all let them out. We don't know. If them start let them out. Yet. All right. And... It was a wild held belief deep in their heart that marijuana was bad. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wicked yeah. info. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. And it, uh, it caused rest of your chat damn foolishness. Yeah. And, and, and uh, it caused the rest of them to go blow the gas station. Yeah. That's why they make it mandatory 18 months after Carroll Garden because they must say, these damn people, I forget rid of them. The Prime Minister said that. Mm. Elizabeth Bustamante and them, them, them blame the ganja feet. Sure, and and through the through the history of the the of being being a criminal, it's been a, a religious mission behind that. Yeah. It's been run by the church, of course, to because they church saw it as a wicked thing. Demonize, ah, they, they you said weed. you they said the word there, innit? Them demonize the herbs. So, yes. so it was a sinful, and it should be. Cut out of the pe the people's culture. Look, here, man. This all right. Most 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 other things that we claim wrong in our society is Christian tell you say it wrong. You know, it, it, it's not like we come up with it and say, you know, so that not so far so go so. Like, and then people say you have to dead for certain things. It's like one man that said, "Boy, right now." Homosex, if anybody who them find is a homosexual, them should have dead. And then when you ask them why, them say the Bible says so. It's like, wow, you know, be like the Bible tells you, I don't trust for dead too. Well, nobody not, the Bible tells you, say, if a man, if a child disobey him parents, he must be thrown to death. Sure. So, how come you not hear the, the, the past, them I say, you know, it's in the Bible say, yeah, you know, if a man commit adultery, the man and the woman should be placed to death. You know, if a man... Some simple little thing, if you wear two <laughs> different clothes together. There was, there was a story. You when, must throw the man to death. Must, if, why you come on with, 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 with Jabadine and <laughs> cat, like how everybody are wearing cat now and dead him. Stole him to death. Where have all that for? <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> it's it weird. It's weird, but... We can't see how deep the thing is, man. It's it, it deep, Rasta. It's it, it deep till... I don't know. The whole kind of stretch far along inside it, so. I mm. don't know it will come out, but that's all. But with Moses, mm. he, left, he left out him big fringe benefit, man, where he tried to get... You know, get that... Because <laughs> <laughs> get 10% rise at the other yeah, end of the tribe. Let me try to show you, say, he's a great politician. 
<laughs> they work it in a way where them can't lick it. Nobody can't lick against me, you know, because I'm getting directly from God. Mm -hmm. It's like a pope, you know. Yeah, yeah man, it's and like a pope, man. In chapter 1, Genesis, when it tells us uh, on the seventh day, God rest. Mm. Uh, as an afterthought, and I, I put them put in them thing that for sure when people know a guy to church, them for being money, you know. Yes. Uh, and then put in that for me, if God say for rest, I'm going to church on the seventh day, you could do it. Yeah, because we need for money. So, uh, all right. And the church yeah, will get tax neither. Because which one of the two stories? A creation, right? Genesis 1 tell us I make God on the sixth day. Yeah. And Genesis 2 tell us that I'm the first thing make, then he make the animal then. Yes, yeah. Look at that, he make the heaven and earth without light. All right. In the, in, the, in, 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 in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without farm, and darkness was up on the face of the deep, mm. and then he make the light, but it's not the sunlight, lad. Because yeah, then, yeah, after all of that, he make the plant then before he make the sun. Yeah, and the sun, the plant needs sun. So I don't know. Yeah, but I don't even mean, know when the earth make for the earth when they're under the water. Yeah, but you yeah, know, I, I confront a, a, a theologian up on the universe, what they call it, theological college, both it, you know. You know what I'm saying? He said, I'm saying, I'm one day, them plant, you can't do it without sunlight for one day. But. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they love make up. It's a theological thing I go on, you know. And then when him tell him, say, him say seven days, him say seven days can mean a thousand, a one day can mean a thousand yeah. years, you know, I'm but what kind of man is that? Him say the evening and the morning was the first day, yeah, him say that thousand days. One day is a thousand days, or you get one day is a thousand days, you know. But, 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 but if you do that, then that means saying if we keep church till, till, till this seven days, one thousand days, yeah, seven thousand years. Day yeah, if we, if we keep on the seven thousand days. yeah. Because yeah. one day can't be like a thousand days, and, and it until it's in the evening and the morning was the first All day. All right. A madness. Uh, I know that thing. You said you enough Christian never know the Easter. Or Easter. No, my brother, you know, you don't know where it is, you know. My little but brother, no, brother you know. It's a fly kind of most, most of them don't know, don't know why them got church on Sunday. <laughs> it's a tradition. No, they don't know. They don't know. Because Jesus, they said Jesus is on Sunday. Yeah, Panasonic. Uh, yeah. uh, so the Catholic, the Universal Church, changes yeah, the sun, the sun, sun worship. Yeah. yeah, the sun worship, the sun rise. Okay. Yeah, you know, you give time. A long time, you know, you're from you again, you know. You know, like, no, you're from you, you know. I'm not for you, you're from you, So, hey, you, 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 you get more. You get back, what? You get more than your 20,000 down, down at Ochi. 20,000? Jack Ruby, Jack Ruby. You mean, <laughs> why don't I couldn't count? I couldn't count because I see people go clear up to the square. I know I couldn't count. Yeah. And I reached about 9 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, but when I reached the Toronto, I couldn't see the top of the road. You but know? you have some more man with them in the to do all the brethren you know, string up the set foully. They used to string up the set. And then the man have a story to tell about yeah. Jack Ruby. Then they talk to Fat uh, M. Name. Fat Jar. I'm going to go to the book's question because Fat Jar. It tell me if it if me get to talk to you, you know, at the time me if you give him number so he could have called him back later in the evening. In England, oh, I mean, it's in New York, him there? Yeah, uh, in, in terms of me if you give him number. Okay, okay. I see. So he could have called him uh, and he could have given some more reasons. Call him on the dark, talk him about two, three questions. I never get finished talk before them cut to him off. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where it goes. That's where it goes. Yeah, give yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I tell you, this is... This is something else. I mean, the more me I talk about it, it's the more me I see things, you know. It's like, it, it, the things that might come to me are rapid. Believe you me, the more me I talk about this angel thing, mm -hmm. I know, the, 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 the diversion, how we, or, or we get diverted from ourselves. Yeah. And, and if you come forward to yourself, you can't even understand that we're not really ourselves. Sure. You know, we, we say one and one equal two, but... We actually never really. It's, it's like it's like nobody not teach you a diggle diggle cat and the figure. Oh, you, oh, you just know that automatically. It's like <laughs> them put like you know. Jack yes. and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. No teacher never tell you to go home and go study that yet, you know. You never have a homework and say, okay, we want you to go home and study the nursery rhyme. Jack and Jill went up the hill. But every pick, every picnic, oh them, oh just like when the man said, thing. 
every picnic, if you tell them to draw an angel, yeah. all of them draw. If they in not Germany, if they in not Jamaica, if they in not Trinidad, America, anytime you ask them to draw an angel, at the same way the whole of them draw mm. the angel. Yeah. With the wing, yeah, with the wing and a little thing and, on him, and, and, and sometimes it's it's, all, it's always a white. They, they always make the wing white. Everything white, yeah. Everything and, and it's yellow, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, yellow. It's a, and the person can be black, black, but the wing. Well, you never hear the man say it's white. You never hear the man say in the documentary. If you want to make an angel evil, all you have to do is change the color. So every angel white, you know. But if you want to make him even change the color, See, <laughs> right away you know, say, the, 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 the bad angel, a black That's angel, so, you know. Yeah. I just to say, when I'm in a fire, him mm. dark and hands, put hands on him, mm -hmm. well black. And that's why we go a movie. When you go to the movies, them, you know, and the arrow, the, 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 the depiction of the evil in the movie, you know, is the hand person with fangs and them black yeah it's a weird thing mm -hmm. you know it's like and you know say black was where the highest priest them used to wear no, most definitely yeah it's the mm -hmm. highest priest them in the yeah, art of right. the egyptian chemetic tradition sometimes yeah. some nice twist around yeah man some direct bl it's black as a matter of fact as a matter of fact them never used to wear Black go to funeral, you know. Mm. It's not black. Mm. What's the thing when you go to funeral, you know? Mm. You know, see, so you must know how the thing get twisted in a certain way. Very twisted. Yes, cutting edge. Yeah. Cutting, cutting, cutting. Oh, you know, man. Alabama. Yeah, well, they are talking about the angels and demons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, Love man. That, that, that documentary, it was about. Me never, me never hear it. You don't sleep. No, we <laughs> don't. Yeah, so yeah. talk about how we come to angels, the history of angels. How did we come to Oh, like understand? how we did with history of every one time. Yeah, how we did come to this understanding oh, no. about angels and the philosophy behind angels, the concept behind it, the imagery. Who give us all yeah. of these things? And how did we internalize these things to make it be so real? Based in on our, our life. Yeah, in our life. That we, we all know as say angels surround we and all them things that you have people feel say yeah. I hear you as you have to say that. We have a little friend here where she's sick and you know how she go and lay there and get her something. The lady I tell her, I say, boy, you want to know say I don't want to carry a woman. <laughs> and me I say, I can't wait. You know? And me I say, really and truly, I mean, you know, you know? Yeah. I mean, I say, what makes you the devil not a politician? You know, say, the devil have angels too. <laughs> and that again, too. Yeah, the so. angel, and like me, you know, they must be surround me inside of the studio, you know. Me, I'm a brethren, so they, we can, I mean, yeah. but you see, the concept, I would still not, when I go stop saying, every one of them concepts, they come from human beings. Mm -hmm. The idea of God, devil, angels, all that, it's human being that create them thing there, you know. That me, can, that me I explain to her, I say, you can't really make that scare you, because I just come here and tell her, she say, outside of Jamaica, mm -hmm. if you did tell me Indian virgin that I'm work with, it not, it not mean nothing to him, because you are Christian alone of this devil, in a them mind, you know. Nobody, when we got out with regular people, people and talk about the devil, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, the mother that tell me about the devil, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not really work with the devil. I'm not saying, you're not know, working with the devil. I said, no, I don't understand, I don't you know who you are talking, where you are talking about. I uh, just don't really understand. No, you understand? Well, I still try to figure out why must I say the devil out there, sir, and God out there, sir. And everything that I attribute to the devil and God is really human beings mm -hmm. that do it. So I must yeah. I must not blame outside entities for the wrongs and the rights of human beings. There's no divinity outside a human being. And as I said, it's, it's in the humanity you find your divinity. It's just simple. You know, as I thought that you know, so me I listen back at uh, two thousand thirty when Ada uh, you about know, Abayuba. Abayuda. Yeah, you know if you get him back in high school there, you know. Live in California. Yeah, man, I'd get him on the line. Come here, listen about the reason the whole night, and I really attack.
with the inside of this humanity, you know. Mm. You know? And when you see when you catch it, you make you make you can make a more conce- conscious decision when it come on to decision where affect affect your life instead of just helplessly give up, give it off to a supernatural. And at that time, that most of Jamaican people, if you really make a most conscious of the decision about world, something, most of the Western a man world. Really is the Western yeah. world, is the Western world give you these things? Yeah, and in Ghana, St. Thomas, I run up and down, man. Be a hero and be a madness. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Trump. Yeah, the fact is, you know, more, more big up Jabi. You know, I watched Jabi last week perform at my place up and so. Oh, and Jabi, life? yeah, man, Jabi, I go and go there. Jabi drop some food, you know? Yeah, and him just come out of the hospital yesterday, too. Oh, yeah, sir. Yeah, you know, you know, so him there perform, and he take a couple of breaks, if he throw at me, and say, boy. Yeah, him, him take sick in, um, in uh, um, Florida, there, and did that for admit to that. Oh, okay, I'm last. No, never do the Atlanta show. show. Never do the Atlanta show. I guess him never do the Atlanta you know, show. You know where I go? You see, yes? He's in the hospital, yeah. He just come out yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I watch Jabby, I mean, I say, all right, Jabby, go there. Yeah, man. Um, Bruce Van Skankin. Yeah, yeah, he might always have to do that. <laughs> Are you him yeah, changing clothes? Him still changing clothes? Him yeah. still yeah. changing yeah. clothes when he reaches out? He's the man. Him still changing clothes when he reaches out? Can you usually change him clothes for the different things that he might do, you know? Like when he got out of the house. Oh, no, I did just... I did like our... It is our performance also, so he just did it a one too, but he's trash, you know, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, Bridget, get him out here. Yeah, people, we just have to realize... Look, we are working with... You know, Irie. we can't go far, far than reality. Yeah, give thanks, brethren. I will let a car go. <laughs> let a car go. <laughs> All right, sir. Yes, there I try bring a next perspective to the thing. You know what I mean? It's very important, you know, very important. Because over the years, we never have radio. We have radio where I tore the line at the same thing. Mm. Over and over, regurgitate the thing. It's almost like the radio is run by the church. <laughs> it's like a church radio. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Because people in Fisa past Sunday, you know, to play reggae. <laughs> you're, yeah. supposed, you're supposed to play no music. Yeah, you're supposed to <laughs> just, <laughs> go out like the Taliban. Oh, oh, when, oh, when, oh. I, when I agree with no music. Oh, the oh, 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 oh. If, if any music would be like the singing and dancing in heaven. Thing. No, no, right. there was sing, singing and dancing and playing of music in heaven. By the way, when did angel them get trumpet? Yeah, yeah I did, I did hear you did that. Where them get them thing from? Drums and saxophone and harp and all them stuff. Yeah, heaven. I, I think we got stumped with the answer. <laughs> because we have no is that when I see a host of angels, you know, the whole of them are playing trumpet. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And harp. harp. Where them get it from? Where uh, them get it from? In a heaven. I mean, really. You have a band of angels up there with and they, make, they, they make invented trombone. Instrumental. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Cutting edge. Yes, yes. Yellow. Blessed man. Infinite blessings. Highly. Yeah. God block, Yeshua block, Holy Spirit block. Oh, the Holy angel Spirit is not black. just the Holy Spirit wow. black. The Holy Spirit Man, have color. And put in the Where did the Holy Spirit have color too? More than color. No, you said God block, <coughs> the Holy Spirit black. Yeah. So how you get color upon the Holy Spirit? You see? When you talking from a Doubting Thomas perspective where as a scientific minded you know have nothing to measure. Oh when you when you talk a scientific mind you know have nothing to measure nothing. Yeah scientists have to measure. Alright so explain to me when you say God black the Holy Spirit black explain that to me. Since me I have nothing to measure nothing from you explain it to me. <clears throat> I can only explain from what I encounter. Then you I may, yeah, from your encounter, and you explain it to me. You say God yeah, but not and it. You may understand it, but the listeners they don't hear that part. So it's clear when I talk. You see, I come to annihilate all ignorance and darkness. Okay. And you say, through the ages of mankind, 
people have been forced into thinking that only when a scientist, mostly Eurocentric scientists, say A, B, R, C, that's how the thing go. But Bridget, hold on, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. can't make it go no further, you know. You just, you, you start out the argument with, with color. I me ask you a question, one question. How you get the Holy Spirit to be black? I you start thinking about scientists and people, you know, I say, explain it to me. How you get the Holy Spirit to be black? Explain because it. Because you see the Holy Spirit. Oh, you see the Holy Spirit and you see the yes. Holy Spirit black? Yes. You see that? Yes. All right, all right. The Holy Spirit is the aspect of the Almighty which, through manipulation of mankind, them refer to, but they don't realize it's that part of the Almighty that they're referring to as omnipresent. And that omnipresence is black. That includes black. No, you just said the Holy Spirit is black. And can manifest as black. It can manifest as white too can manifest any color. Okay. But okay. the essence of the originality is black. The, the, the energy. Yeah, it's black. Is black. Okay. Black father. Black, black mother. Son, yeah. Black spirit. Okay. Yeah? So all the you know spirit the is like a you know the... you ever, you, you, like the starfish or the when you chop it and the little piece of drop off. No, I never chop it. It's a representation of the entire yet. whole. It can't divide up it. Any piece of cut off, it still look like the whole. All right, so let me ask That's a question. The, Holy the Father who is black. Yes. You see the Father. I see the Father. And you see him black. The Father revealed that over the centuries. No, we no, we said yes, no, I answered you know, several times answered, but through me answer so fast and I pick it up and say no, yes. No, no, tell me something. You make me sound like me, me not understand. You, you talk on the high level where nobody no, you talk on the high level, you're not going to communicate. If it's that simple. Don't be nasty, stick man. I'm going to try to show some of the already. Yes, several times where you're not picking it up. No, what we no, we no. The father, where you talk about? Yes. See? Where is black? You see the father already, and you know yes. the father is black. Yes. Like, can I ask you a question now? Which part you see? You, in a, you because you're going to mix up the father with the Holy Spirit, you know? No. Okay, so which part you see the father? You encounter the father. I can't remember the exact date. Right. Several times. What race him belong to? The father no belong to no race. So oh, but the father you... creates every race. Okay, okay. And 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 the, oh, and the, the son no belong to no race neither. The son is that triune part of the father, which is a spoken word. Oh, so anything have the father physical... thinks and speak, it manifests and it manifests on Jesus. So you know, have no physical, but... you know, have no physical Jesus and Yahshua then. Yes, you have a physical have Jesus and Yahshua. Just like oh, you have a physical Muta, you have a physical yeah, Yeshua. and you have a physical God. And you have a spiritual supernatural no, God. No, no, you have a physical God. God is above physical. So you do have a physical God then? He can manifest anything he wants. No, I, I just, I, Regin, is either God can, so God can be physical? Yes. And when but he's, he's above it. I never say, no, I don't ask about the other part. God can okay, be physical, right. and when he's physical, in black. Him, when he manifests. Yeah, when he manifests. Physical and manifestation. Physical uh, and when he reveals himself. Yeah, him is black. Original essence of the creator is black. Period. Okay. And what Eurocentric people over the thousands of years have done mm. is brainwash society. By saying what? By saying what? When he manipulate? By saying what? Get Michelangelo to repaint. No, no. I mean, I talk about when Michelangelo paint now. Because you not deal with a painting now, you know. You not deal with a painting, so I not deal with a painting now. I say, you say, Father is black, and the Son yes. is black, and the Holy Spirit is black. Yes. All right, now, where white people say about the same thing where you are saying? That's what I was telling you. They manipulate it. Manipulate and the black and say it white. And say it white. And paint it white. And record so why, it as white. So why them shouldn't paint it white and them white? And you paint it black because you black? No. You don't paint it black because you're black? No. You paint it black because so it go? I saw it go. And Period. they paint it white because they don't saw it go? Repeat that last part. Them paint it white if you do not saw it go. 
Yes, because so, of agenda. But them know say God. No, not a lot of them. The doors oh. who open at the levels. Oh yeah, yeah. Some of them open at the levels. Yeah, okay. yeah, man. Because uh, a human being have different levels. Okay. So the, the Chinese know. The make I ask about the Chinese now. How the Chinese now fit into this? Same thing. What? What same thing? I mean, I Whatever you want to think of the white is the same thing with the Chinese. Me not think nothing of the white. Me not God white, Jesus white, and the spirit white. And you are saying, no, no, they're no. black. So what the Chinese God see black, us now? Jesus black, yeah. spirit black. And you, you know that? I mean, know that. No doubt. And these things are going to be revealed And soon. the white people, them now, who see Jesus and God enough for them own image. There's no reason why them should have do that because it's, it's manipulate them manipulate manipulation for different agendas. But at them so give you God brethren. All where you think about God and know them give you Jesus. At them give you Jesus. Let, so listen, you know what I said. Listen, listen. Yeah. That is the old thinking that has perpetrated itself for thousands of years. No, we are coming back in perpetuate that you reveal what turned to me. What them are revealed to me. We are in an age, mm. Muta, mm. Baruka, mm. where these things will now become revealed all over the earth. Yeah, and that means that the skies. You have to see the skies. You probably have to see the skies. You come in at the studio one of these nights. Yeah. You're going to recognize that you're going to drop wide open. You have to entertain strangers because you might entertain angels unaware. Yeah, that's a part of the word, yes. Mm. So we have to know. You have to see the angels in the sky. Angels is not what they have perpetrated it to be. What is it? Where, what is where, it? Where, where, where is it? Let me just, let me just, let me just play a while. White ago. figure with some wings. So let me just play a while ago. It's not angels them are talking about then. Yeah, oh, you never hear it. You never hear the documentary. Yeah, no. What, uh, what, what, what I'm trying to tell you based on, I can only tell you based on the knowledge that I have. Angels include those that have wings. So angels have wings. Where you get that idea from? Uh, it's not an idea. No, it no. A, it is, where you get it's it? It's a revelation from the Holy Spirit. It's a revelation from encounters with the Holy Spirit. It's a revelation all right, from all right. encounters with God. You, all right. So you have, have a revelation. Before, you have a revelation I, from God that tell you say angels have wings too. You have some angels. Virgin, it's, it's, uh, sorry, say I was not listening because it's where you are saying now. It's exactly yes. what we are talking about. Say what? black people. Take white people things and internalize it so much. Yeah, but this is not about But I want to make the distinction because no, no, this is no, part no, of the ignorance that has been perpetrated yeah, for no, thousands of years. It has nothing to do with any black writings, brethren. But no, I don't encounter it. I don't encounter it. No, but you never encounter no Jesus. Never encounter that. Are you thinking I tell you that? Oh, okay, no. There's then. no empirical evidence for you to tell me. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. So I will keep the conversation very comfortable. It is not for me to prove it to you. But, you, but what are you going to prove to me? You can't prove something when you're there. No, 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 sir. I'm not even going to try. All I'm doing is sharing my knowledge with you until the time comes when it is revealed to you. When it is going to reveal to me? Well, that is your, between you and the father. No, man. No, no, no father and business not revealed to me. My father dead and gone a long time. No, man, I talk physical early father, boss. What are you talking about? I talk the creator of the universe. Which creator of which universe? The creator of the universe, black? Yes, sir. So when, when Chinese people say Chinese and white people say white people, what we're, we're, we're wrong with that? We're wrong with that. Well, because everything you, you are telling me now say it's, it's white people make you say what you are saying. No, no. All no, what you are telling no, me about no. the revelation. It's white people make you are telling me you say angels are going to come with wings. It's white people make you say that. Angels. There's no empirical nothing. Where you are going to tell me say, why that revealed to you in a nothing. Nothing. That is what yes. you call. That is what you call where you call where you call where you call it now. You are you 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 actually a, a put yourself in a, a level of where you gonna call it, Bridging? Where you gonna call where you gonna call where you're bridging? I think it's sub there. subconscious, you know, subconscious that because as he said it was revealed to him, but it well, was yeah, you scientific terminology, so you won't get it. Who are put who are, who scientific, scientific terminology will never get si it. Subconscious is a scientific the language terminology. Language you use is based on what you are taught. Oh, what is this man, man? Subconscious is that scientific terminology? Yeah, you say subconscious. You what sub mean? What sub mean? Where, 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 where,
They are referring to an aspect of the spirit and the mind no, functioning. What sub mean? Wait, no, wait, no, what sub mean? Beneath. Yeah, and what conscious mean? Somewhere. Yes, and when, when conscious, what mean? They are referring to the awareness that comes from the spiritual and the yeah, mental realm. What the hell you telling me about is a scientific explanation about subconscious? All scientific because subconscious becomes scientific. Because the it's conscious is just to about to, to ascribe something to something. Why are you talking about scientific? All science coming as subconscious. Because the intermixing of what you have been taught in the earth and your own thoughts is being expressed just now. So part of it is what you learned from the earth, that the earth has scientific things that is proven by empirical evidence. Bridget, and the majority of thinking is because of the no empirical evidence. There is no angel exists. with no wing that is going to come out of the sky. Nothing like that. My response and to I that. And I tell you, is, sir... I don't believe it, so I don't have to prove it to you. You must prove it to me because you believe it. No, I may not prove nothing. Well, then when the time imagine comes, imagine you it. alone have to prove it. There is no time. Let me say this. Let me, say, no this. Let me say this. There is no angel in no sky with no wing. Let me say this. Imagination. So damn, and them ignorance. Let, let me, let me say this. One. Let me say this. Yes. You have angels that don't have wings that taller than all yeah, a hundred yeah. foot. Yeah, we hear that too in the in the in the in the documentary over that place. Well, we need to get the documentary. Let's they know, see what the extent to which them say anything true. It because it because history. Say, we don't go by what white man or black man tell me. But and exactly where you just said that, them say exactly where you just said that in that case. Because you see, all of us, you know, at some times of meditation, we'll get the truth, you know. Bridging. So exactly we may have aspects of the things that they are saying, which is I'm not sorry. totally yeah. far yeah. off, because they may have aspects of the truth. Go up on YouTube and look for History of angels. And YouTube. I, I hope so you find it. Please. YouTube. Yeah. You, yo, you know, use YouTube. No, me use YouTube, but me I try to figure the out. The way I repeat who, YouTube, uh, YouTube. Who after that, that documentary? Who? White man, uh, the white man write it? It's the history of angels. Yeah, who no write it? What do you mean white who write black it? man. No, the people, them who originate. Color. Them are white people. A white people originate. Okay. Egypt, a white Thank people you, originate. Where, Thank where you, so like what I'm trying to tell you, Moses, yeah. as a bridging. If yeah. somebody is knowledge, you can get it with your own meditation. You don't need. Get, you, you can get, back it get, up. Get angel without when you say, well, I know, man. I well, I know, man. You can back it up. When you say sprinklings of the truth that come true, become man only have sprinklings of the truth depending on them level of. You the can get angel without outside influence. You can be you can be influenced by angel internally without outside influence. All of us, not just me, not just you, not just There's the white man, not just that the white man. can do internally when it come on to concept. When not when when they were dead already. Uh, so when you talk about angel, when you talk about angel, any guy, hmm. no matter what race that can re recreate the human being and blow a bit in him, hmm. Mister Sigurd. So what does that have to do with what we are talking? About? No, because I'm not trying to show you the levels. You, sometimes you don't need no scientific knowledge. Of scientific oh, 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 you keep on no talking about science. science. You hear me mention no science. science? Listen up, Bridget. Will you hear me mention no science? science? Never no mention scientists. Why are you keep on talking about scientists? Why you keep on talking about scientists? No Egyptology, no climate, no, you, no, 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 no white Anglo-Saxon protestant, no barrier, no Viking, no Eastern mankind can recreate the human body and blow the breath because the breath comes straight from the creator. Then who did say that? Who did no, say, no, that, can, say that? Then who did say that? May I did have an argument about who can bring No, but want to make the point. You don't always need you to prove no, certain no. things, Bedrick. I never talk about no proof. You ask me which part me get the reasoning from, but what you say, I'm going to tell you, say, it depends on the document you're going to play. Where you, where I'm going to the brother. So, you I come to annihilate me. all darkness. What I'm saying to you, Virgin, is this. Some of these things, where you see them come up in, you can prove whether them are chat rubbish or not. Because sometimes Virgin, you don't need them books and printings and this I, information. You, you need that, to yeah, meditate yeah. to the Father. But, but see, and when you meditate to the Father, and you walk with the Father, Virgin. and the Father reveal himself to you, and you can do certain Excuse things. Me. Excuse me, sir. All of these lies will be, 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 be annihilated. Listen to me now. The documentary yes. was saying something. You say, I can prove, say, it's lie, the matter. Well, I assure you, say, the documentary, where them are have, I don't believe what them are saying. Fair but enough, you, and you are entitled to that. But I'm saying to you, but you even believe without what them are saying. You believe what them are saying. Because you no, are giving me the same No, 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 don't have. put words in my, Let me tell you what no, I No, but mean. you never listen to the documentary. You never listen to it. So, oh, and that is me. even better because I'm not coming from the program oh, not having listened so to the documentary. So you know why I listen to the documentary? You know what I listen to the documentary? Any documentary? What I'm saying to you? You just ask me where we get the documentary from, and you tell me it's on YouTube. The point I'm making, Moses. And you know, so you go watch it. You go watch it, you know. When you're done, you go watch it, you know. 
Your uncle watch me. What's that name? Your uncle want to bring cross where you want to say, nah. Oh, me, uh, oh, me remember. No, man, may I listen to you? May the listen name to you. history, the history of angels. It is a history, it's history channel of a thing. It's documentary. It's pan how things become what them is. Who give you the imagery? Who give you the ideas and the doctrine of these things? And I am telling you, see, I, the, the exact thing where you just say, both angel this and angel that, where you say, is we put in a you. And I never mention nothing about science to you, you know. Up to now, I not say nothing about science. You now you keep and say, scientists can't handle this and science. I never mention nothing about scientists to you, you know. Why you keep telling about scientists, 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 scientists? Why are you telling them things for? I was trying to make the point that the information. some of the information. But I never give you no scientific information. Fair enough. So why you but I'm still making the science? point that some of the information that comes to us we have different means or we can test it to verify yeah, whether it is rubbish or not. The testing, the, the testing where you are talking about now is to show me it's a God black. No, I am not even, I am just sharing that with you. If oh, you, you want to God believe it, it's fine. If oh, you, you don't want to believe it's fine. I'm not trying to try tell you that you're not virgin. Yeah, no, that you tell me, I'm not trying. That you tell me for about five, ten minutes now, that you try to say God black, spirit no, black. I'm not Jesus no, black. I'm not trying I'm to. I'm not trying to tell you. You yeah, tell me, sir. I'm sharing something you. with you. You're revealing If you want to, to believe it, fine. If you don't want to believe it, it's also fine. It is not no, for me. It can't be fine if you are trying to say, the, 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 the it's going to reveal to me. Watch out. Eh? Fine, you tell me, sir, there's something not going to reveal to me. It's not fine. Because you, you are telling me, sir, God black and tell me, sir, you, me must worry because it's going to reveal to me soon. So you are telling me, sir, it's fine. No, no it's not so you are trying to you. say, it's your evidence where you can drop in your mind, it's something where real, and then eventually I have got to see the realness of your evidence, of your thinking. And that's what you tell me. Oh, science yes. coping at that. No science is none of that. You uh, just tell example, me something. I'm here. Your thing, you your here. Thing. I'm speaking a word. Your thing, I start coming to my mind, me, I and I speak it. it, and you hear it, and you understand it. You are deluded. I understand that you are deluded. That's why I understand. No, you I understand that the 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 scientists come to prevail to measure some of these things. Well, these things have been existing from the beginning of creation. You are I deluded. You are deluded. You are deluded. I speak a word. You hear the word, and you understand. And I'm here at distance from you, and you can you can over that. You are deluded, brethren. Over the years, you have been deluded. Yeah, you are deluded, man. Well, you are, you are, I can't stop you. Are, I can't think of I'm thinking. Ignorance blissfully. You are, no, but Muta, I could ignorance. say the same thing about you, you know, but, but I like to say that. But I say I don't think this is the thing you want to say about me. I tell you, sir, you think of something in your head, and you yes. will tell me, sir, eventually I am going to see it. Then if, I, then if I had a paradigm, you know, like you know, I know. Well, I know. 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 I my life for how much years and then you come and tell me something I mean it's totally believe I told you that you're deluded to but, so I, not that. but I not tell you something you, you see something you believe in a something and then now you're going to tell me say me who not believe you're going to tell me say watch her you see what me believe in her what me believe in her so it going on therefore you so see it no, I, I wouldn't say it like that. that. You know, I wouldn't want it to come across yeah, that. I want me, to come that, across that tell me, you this tell me is say, something that in it. this age well, let me say this statement clear. You ever tell me, say, me, you're going to see angel in the sky with wings. You tell me that. You know, you're deluded, meant, you, you, your mind so deluded that you think about something. Imagine something, and then tell me, you say, later on, me, I'm going to see something where you imagine in the sky. And if I was in your shoes, I would say the same thing. I don't have no what shoes. I'm to you, what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you is that this thing is not only going to be revealed simple to a moot or whoever. It's we are in a age. It's in a age. Well, I'm a man. We are a fundamentalist age. Christian who's demented and deluded. No, no, no. And the no. doctor we are in a age where these trying things to black are gradually being revealed in the earth. And make it become your thing. Um, I'm hoping that the time will come soon when you can come back on the program and say, Forty percent of black, forty percent of Afro American people believe that Jesus Christ can come back in a them lifetime. And no, we, we, don't, we, don't know the, we don't know the day. Yeah, but that's that why people that. tell me, because they want in perpetual wait for foolishness. Them tell no, don't it's know the day. I can't tell you that without doubt. It, it, what them call coming back soon, 
the yeah, timeline. No, but we don't know the exact time, but it's not going to because there are certain things that need to come from the earth first. You just tell me, say, me, I got seat. You just tell me, say, me, I got seat. Me, I got seat. The angel in the sky with wing. Me, I got seat. Yeah, that part, I believe. Watch it. Not to trust me, I know. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. You must work with Hollywood. Give me a chance to talk, you know. Yeah, I'm going to give you a chance to talk a long time, Bridget. But you're talking... But I would say the same thing like you, if a man comes to me that I'm going to believe that for years. You believe a thing for years and a man can come to the opposite to that. They just say the man deluded you. I believe that thing for which years. I used to say what you are saying. And the bridge over the other side used to say what you are saying too. The bridge right over there so come from England. Say, I saw him grow up. I saw me grow up too. Me grow up believing an angel in a sky with wings. Ask anybody inside that song with the studio. No, what I'm trying to tell you, so it's not just wings. You don't have angels who just have wings. Some people have all kinds of angels, bro. Yeah, them, yeah, of course. Then, that, that can mention say too. So you have all yeah, kinds so of angels. Have angels. You have, angels you have, who angel, use you have good bridges. angels. You have archangel, Michelangelo, Michael angel. You have all sorts of angels. Of course, you have different kind of angels. You, you have, have angels servants. that... You have, you have cherubims, yeah, you have wiring angels, you have that, archangels, you have, you have Gabriel-like angels, like that, man, that, the you have Melchizedek, you have Melchizedek, you have Melchizedek which is another farm. Regine, is that me assure you, say, everything where you say, yeah, is where white people say. I understand, on, and, and it was said on the document, my brother, I think you should see the documentary, uh, just check it out first, yeah, because you... Hey, you my white people still, assure yeah. me that white people things. No, Everything where I say, the depth on the documentary, mm. and the same thing, and the same... The, when you are saying is when me the thing for when me a little picnic. Right now the documentary shows that this is how the thing them start. Black people take it, with cherubims and cherubims and all these things. Archangel Gabriel go to the Virgin Mary. Michael Archangel going to the sky and start war in heaven. All of these things is where you believe in her. And me I tell you, so where you believe in her is not from no black God and no and no black Jesus. A white people tell you that. No, why? Because if you if you can't go to Kemet, if you can't go to Kemet, no, you're about no Kemet, no this, that, like you're shown something where everything originated from. You're talking yeah, about uh, Kemet. Uh, all, all of these knowledge exists from the beginning of time. No, may I tell as you, say, Kemet. As different, er, as different uh, generations and years. A man, man created knowledge. A man is picking up empirical evidence to prove little at that time. There's no concept of God or the devil outside of man. If there was no man or God, if there was no man or, or, or if there was no God or devil, you wouldn't have no man. So what I say, um, man a, man make, a man make himself? Is man create what about make self? Oh, you, make self? Then you must ask the question if you make a statement God, like that. A man make himself? A God make himself? God exists. No, God, I accept God, God, God make himself. God, before the beginning of time, God exists out of time. God is the original. God is the creator. So is God make himself then? Eh? Don't go ahead you never hear what I'm saying. I ask if it's God, God make himself. God exists. So God, God exists. never make himself then? God no make. God exists. So who, what do you mean God exists? Just exists, sir? I'm saying it. Oh, you know that. Oh, you know that. Oh, you know that. Oh, you know that. Oh, you know, say God just exists. Oh, you know that. Oh, you know, say don't exist. No, I never say him don't exist. I hear you now. Hear I say no exist. You hear I say no exist. I say... The concept no, of the answer is to me. God exists. You know why God exists? God exists because man create concepts of God and devil inside a man. That's why I said exists. I said you to you now. That yeah, you well, said well, God exists. Tell you this. Who created God? God? Who created There's God? no man who can create God. I never said man God create is. God. Here I said man create God, Virgin. The closest that man come to defining God, when him say energy cannot be created nor destroyed. God exists, Bridget. Yeah, Bridget. You right there say God no exists? No, may I make sure to understand no, where no, you no, are? No, 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 no. So may I ask I, you, so I never, answer, but I know never tell say God exists. I say every concept of God come from man. Every concept of the devil come So if man um, create the concept of God, that means say no man, God exists. I said to you, when you My response to God, that statement is that man manipulate the information over the years. Which so is from from the truth. What is man create the information? What is man create the information? From is man. man create the information? There is no information that is on earth that don't come from man. None. None. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, go right down to Revelation. It's man write that. 
and man conceptualize that. There is no outside thing that is deciding that for man. It's man doing that. And you can't There's prove no, that. Why me not can't prove it? Why me not can't prove it? No, that's what I'm saying. Who write Genesis? Who write Genesis? The creator write Genesis. Uh, all right, we done the argument. We done the argument. We have to take uh, the, the, we have to take the way name. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, Bush's yeah. Auto Parts, 22 Mechanic Street, Mantinga Bay. Stocks a wide range of new and used auto parts, plus transmission, water pumps. Adults in America believe in angels. 77%. Yes. Yeah. And 40, well, not in this thing, about 40%. Of Americans believe, say, Jesus Christ can come back in a freedom lifetime. See, it, see it. You know, long people believe that, say, Jesus will come back. Watch out. When Jesus Christ said, you know, the Bible, it said, there are many here. Mm-hmm. What that mean? Many who stand up in front of sure, sure, sure. That sure. shall not see death until the Son of Man return. Mm-hmm. So which part of them people there where, where him did return and them never dead? You you got a, you got a point then. If, if if Jesus Christ, if, if a man stood up in front of some people, so and they say, still hear him. Somebody. There are many here that shall not see death until the Son of Man return. Mm. Them people that two thousand years ago, them yeah. dead. So 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 him not come back yet. Yeah. You know the Christian twist that is is is, is, is a twist for twist. You know, say when them said dead, if not. with Jesus when him there when he's going to the city and it's like a zombie thing it's like uh, what them call it when they move upon <laughs> the TV zom- zom- rise of the zombies yeah something. you know I mean terrible <laughs> yes anyway Ian yeah Muta yeah blessed man yeah man man dingo yes <laughs> I hear I hear you on the person there a while ago well, and it you. just goes to show that a lot of our people waste time you know, all of this really just nonsense and misconcepts and things. Because, as you correctly say, all of these really just concepts about the creator and angels and all of these things. Is man and woman who make up these things? But who else could have make it up? Who else could have make it exactly. up? Exactly. No, no. And our people waste so much time in all of this nonsense instead of dealing with the real issues. And I want to big up SLR Radio in London, so who made their own soul name no, in the Britain. Are they, who are they? Who are they? You know, you look at the original studio, I know. You don't know him. Mandinga, what on? Yeah, what man? Oh? <laughs> Scarcha, <laughs> nephew, <laughs> and thing. I'm here for you, you know, um, also conscious radio, when we do my African conscious program, pan and flavor radio too, yeah, yeah. every week, you know. And... Heal up just catch your well, uncle still and don't mention Galaxy Radio up to now. You still don't mention <laughs> Galaxy up to now. <laughs> no, 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 they found that. You know what I mean? Why? Another time. That? See? No, but, no but, that's all right. No, but that, see? you know who in the studio with me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. You know who in the studio with me. You know the person who in the studio with me. You know, you hear me say just catch and never your man. I know my. Yeah, it seems come from, man. Him come, him, when me used to do so him it, come there, so... It looked like you have some big galaxy. You have some big galaxy. Me say, Anu came to that station no, when I used to be there, man. Which station? Which station? Which station? Yeah, the galaxy. Oh, came well, to well, that station. You know, me depend right? on the first <laughs> African station in Britain, where yeah. Rita Marley, brother, and yeah, no, he founded in the 1980s. If you know what, I said it wouldn't be galaxy. That's why I'm really want. No, I'm not on that, man. Okay, me right, don't right, right. say already. All right, yes. We are talking about... Yeah. We are talking about... Um, I'm big, big up new PC to We put on all of your shows then. Every day. Yeah, yeah. About two, three hours from now. Yeah. See? All right, where did I say all about um, the, the reasoning? No, the you see the thing where you are talking about... So the minister, the GLP minister, asking for hanging because two Europeans dead mm. in Jamaica. Mm. And this just remind me of when my physics teacher, the Akinson Technical, Marcus Gavi Jr., or yeah, Akinson yeah, Technical. Well, 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 you, you never done the talk a while ago about where we did that talk. You did that talk about something else, so you're gone, but I need that truck, you know. 
We did not talk about regional language. We did not talk about regional language. Yeah, you did not talk about regional language. So, I could come from that. Yeah, I said, I said, all of this religious concept and all of them things about Angel and Samuel. And the one named Samuel is the archangel of death. Yeah. I heard you was asking what was it, is the archangel of death. Yeah, the bridge and it's supposed it. to control two million angels. Yeah. And they you have know, Gabriel. And thing there. Gabriel. Some, you know, and, and you have Gabriel and Melchizedek like, uh, and all of them things yeah. there. But all of them Hebrew business, the Abraham thing, as you know, Muta, I don't have nothing to do with them because I and I, the African, exist thousands of years before the guy named Abraham and Muta politician and who write up them so-called books, Genesis and them thing there. Because Moses write up them thing there. Make up whole heap of fiction and all kind of thing. For control people minds and yeah. a lot of things about them. are chosen people. As Dr. Yosef Ben Yochan and my friend say, chosen people what? Who chose them? I and I, the African, is chosen. Yeah. Who chose, chose what? You know what I mean? And Jacob mean... One who wrestle with the Creator and, and conquer the Creator. That oh, you can do that. That means you are oh, man fighting God the and Creator and in our wrestling. Yeah. You know, madness. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So a lot of our people waste too much time in this. But, but of course, you know, religion is used to enslave. This is a propaganda tool, mentally. But you know, you the man start lick out, you know, you man start lick out against Kemet and Egypt and them places. Because with the mindset where he have. Yeah. Because it's that me and you and Anu and the whole of we grew up in that kind of environment yeah, yeah, of mind enslavement. Yeah, yeah. Till we bust it out. It, it is, you, from you still follow them thing there. You must fight against Kemet. You must fight against Egypt, and you must fight against your own African self. Your ruba. That is how it's designed. Akan. And as we know, no so-called exodus never take place. But no so-called Hebrews and Levites and Kimit and them yeah. things. They are lie. And them never build no pyramid. That's no slave labor. It's our people who no, build the like pyramid. Uh, Egypt can build the pyramid. Ex 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 exactly using the laws of mathematics. The three, four, five triangles. No, them are trying to make us know that a UFO, a people across. from space make it. Them know them are saying space. To them can't explain it. Them say a space man make it. No, anything to deny ancestors' yeah. role in doing these things. So from the moment is something wonderful, mm. it must be some outer space or some European thing. But you know, self is anything bad. It, it is our African people, yeah, and yeah. that is why they make the color out anything. <clears throat> As you know, blacklist, black male, yeah, and all of them black, nonsense, black, the racist yeah. terms. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and, and them things. So we not depend on that. And, you know, it was good that yesterday, the 11th of May, when there was National Reggae Day in Brazil. But you see, the two Europeans from our states who yeah. were killed in Jamaica, mm. yes. We do not rejoice about that. But as Marcus Garvey Jr. said, no European has ever been hung in the island of Jamaica for murdering Africans. And we know over the hundreds of thousands of Africans that Europeans have murdered in Jamaica. And no European has ever been hung in Jamaica from before so-called independence and after. It's only Africans get hung and one and two Indians and so. So it's a racist thing yeah. that the hanging thing, the broken and neck of Spanish stone where the gallows there and thing is designed for African people. Just and like, you know like the, the, the people court, are like the world in prison court. and have been hung who innocent. Just like the world court in a year it 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 designed for black people because it's not black people alone go there. The who? The what? The egg. The egg world court. Yes, exactly. They designed the it for black people. <laughs> yes, it's only it's only African people because otherwise Tony Blair, Henry Kissinger, Bush, and Bush. George Walker Bush yes. should 
Right. But it's the only design for African people. It's a racist court and African people must withdraw and come out of that racist European international criminal court which is designed only to try and send African heads of state to prison and not their own people who cause the problems in the first oh, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Real criminals and, and thieves, you know? And I'm glad to know, say, um, Brother Bonnie Wheeler, him, him all right. Get, yeah, 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 right. that right. him was in hospital and thing, yeah. you know? And I have to big up Slide Down Bar, one of the world's greatest drummers, whose earth strong was choose the tent of me. Okay. But, may I tell you, we have to get rid of this you see, that's why you have to do what you have to do, you know, and me have to do what me have to do, you know. And, and people like us, African conscious people, because mm -hmm. every, at every day, they constantly drum in these lies using religion yeah. to enslave the minds of our people. people. Yeah. And, the, and, and the brethren a while ago who was arguing with you is a typical example but you know what uh, means? He's believing what Europeans telling him. But and that video, watch out, watch out, Bridget. I don't know if you need to listen to the program. I play a documentary. No, I was listening to it. I listened to all of it. All right, I play a documentary about the origin of angels and how angel thing come out, the image of angel and thing, right? Mm. Him call now, and him give the same reasoning where him never hear the documentary. I call it to him, say. Him never hear the documentary. And I but you notice him, oh, I have to listen to, to him do, when you tell him where he can see the documentary and the title. You must say you him, who, him do you want to for documentary. A white people documentary, no, I don't white people documentary may I play. I know black people documentary may I play. All right, we, of uh, course. But we hear the reason now. After me done, I explain to the people them say, black people, when they're on the documentary, you know, black people internalize that and make it become part of them life. Totally all true. Us, all totally us, true. All of a sudden, this virgin call and reiterate exactly what I say that black people take but just play upon the tape a while ago and internalize it to the point where you know, he might argue about it, you know, because he say him get a direct revelation about Angel, you know. Him, him not say, him learn that, you know. Him say, him experience mm. the revelation that angels exist and i going to also experience it before i pass away he might live to see say me see angel in the sky with wing and the bridge but he's play a language you know him don't get no revelation no, we, no, you, lie me, no, no me no say no lie matel me no say no lie matel no, because a man can't delude me himself say a, lie, a man can't delude himself, himself revelation. You, know. you know some people tell you say the dopey the dopey and them see the dopey you, can't the you know again. why? You know why? Mm. Because them are the dopey. No, because them delude themselves. Yeah. There's something yes. delusion, you know. And yes. when the president said, Thomas Aquino, he had the same, same, same um, document to say, him see mm. angel 700 years ago. <laughs> him see angel, you know. And yes. then, you know, then if Thomas Aquino see angel, oh, come on, it's like, weird, angel stop flying. What them do now? You have angel without wing, angel with wing. You have black angel, you have white angel, you have devil angel, you have good angel, you have bad angel. So where the angel them there, where I supposed to experience? With you wing. know, an next point where you're knocking with is when you're asking, so how the Chinese thing going on all of this? Yeah, what Chinese have to do with this? You, 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 you know what you know, it's so how him couldn't answer that, you know? The Holy Spirit black. How the, how the hell the Holy Spirit get black now? Then when, when no, the white man says Holy Spirit you know what is, And where is the mother? But no you got mother, a child without no a mother. No mother, no mother. It's the Holy Spirit no matter about God hey, black, hey, hey. So Jesus <laughs> black, and the Holy Spirit black. Yes. But and there is no mother God to produce the child for the father and mother a to produce business, the child. A joke business, brethren. Joke business. Anyway, we have to move. Madness. You know? We have to move. What, you, you, you have to carry him go to Bellevue, you know, so we know how to do it. No, you know? I go out there, brethren. Carry him go to lock me up. <laughs> no, carry him. Yeah, but me could have got there. Me could have got there and then lock me up in there. <laughs> no, we have come on. We have, we, we have soldiers where we make sure them can do that. We have See? to move. We have to move. We have to move. All right. Blessed love. Yeah. Yeah, we have to give thanks to the moment. Give thanks to the time and the energy. Give thanks to Anna for pass through. Yeah, give, give thanks, thanks for Yeah, man. Yeah. And um, Matrix in the house. <laughs> Uh, Matrix, them always come at this hours. <laughs> we are telling you. <laughs> Why? We are telling you, Rasta. We leave you be. 
No, me I tell you, that's why that's why everybody are complaining to me. Me they are Turkey, I said, look at the hotel room right here. Where play him? Roger Asphalt, I complain to, to Kabo, you know. <laughs> say, boy, next time, it. next time, if I go go away, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't take my people, they want to. <laughs> you say, as far as far as I say, can't take my people, they want to. Because they, they're not easy. And I think I say, well, I show you, know, they're not easy, but you are know. So, so, so if, if I just want to just, just quickly re re remind people of, of um, th there, there was a saying from Bookman, the great Hungan, it was a Jamaican mm. into Haiti. Yeah, Bookman, yeah. Bookman Dutty. And he's, but along with High Priestess Cecile Fatiman, mm. and he declared that we, as de brainwashed, in our process of being de brainwashed, we should cast away the images of the oppressor. You know that Marcus Gavin said to man? Yeah. Cast away the image of the oppressor. Where man Jerob be man all these things in our head? Why, why we have them things in our head? How oh, the man them put a, a American apple tree in the garden of Eden and we, a, 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 the image where we have is an American apple tree. I mean, how long we have the Bible, the Bible tell you about an apple tree in That's right. You see, so it's just all them imagery, them mm. imagery, you know. Mm. Michelangelo paint a picture of him cousin and then them say Jesus picture that. That's right. Michelangelo give it that image in our head, you know. Mm. An Italian man named Michael Michelangelo give with the image of Jesus in our head and it imprint in our mind. And then now we are trying to blacken it. Mm. So anytime we say the black God now, black Jesus and black Holy Spirit now, Holy Spirit. it's supposed to be more powerful than where white people give. Yet still now we are putting the same emphasis. And that may start out the program. Yeah, yeah, you know. That's right. That's what the you start the program. Say, you know. yeah. We blacken the thing where white people give away. And then have the same attributes and claims you know we're different. So Jesus not white again, you know, Jesus black, but guess what? The same black Jesus now walk from water, him feed five thousand people with trees, or with much fish and bread, him dead and come and get up back. I mean him turn water in our all of the things them with the white Jesus do, you know. We now get powerful now and switch it now and say, him never white, him black, and so I do it. A joke business. Mm -hmm. Joke business. Anyway, a gun, a gun, you know, bridging, anything. Yeah, you want I just, yeah, just want to rise up all of, all the Galaxy family and all the Jamaican rise up thyself. So I want to say that the big shout to the family in Hillshire and to uh, flankers in Motiga Bay and all the ones and ones up in St. Mary. Rise up. Move to our new Galaxy Radio, the Give only TV in Washington Station. All right. Give thanks, bridging. And a gun, a gun, you know, to the little town. Two to five, part to five, but why yell up me on the mouth, you know, them. And I'll be honest with you. I'd rather go to church and listen to the most vulgar gangster rap in church than hear you niggas sing Amazing Grace. Do you know how filthy that song is? Do, do you know people all over the world laugh at you? And the sad part about it, most of you don't know, John Newton wrote that song. I mean, I don't know that. He, he, was, he was a drug, a, 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 a slave trader that would make Hitler look like an altar boy. Came out of a house where his daddy was a preacher. So he knew about repentance, although he had denied the church. And then he got caught out on one of his pleasure boats. Got caught out on pleasure boat. And the storm came up. Y'all know the story, someone? Make Katrina look like a picnic. And he fell on his knees and said, God, oh Lord, let me repent, forgive me, don't let me die. And the storm ceased. <laughs> and he was so grateful, he wrote that song.
And you niggas sitting up church talking about forgive a wretch like you don't even know what a wretch is. He say forgive a wretch like me. Can you imagine if that boy's mama would have been a whore and as notorious as he was, and, and God saved her and she write a song talking about thank God for forgiving a whole like me, and your black mama sitting up in church singing forgive a whole like me. What kind of fools are y'all? Huh? I go all over the world. I go to China, check out the Christian community. Jesus looked Chinese. <laughs> go, go to Africa, India, Jesus look Indian. Go to Japan, Jesus. go to Brazil, Jesus look Brazil. Come back home to America and go in the black community to a black church and Jesus is a white man and you wonder what's wrong with your children, you nigga. Christ got 12 disciples. Christ born in a place where it ain't nothing but niggas. And he gave 12 disciples. He didn't only pick European, he picked 11 Englishmen. Where names like that? Peter, Paul. Matthew, where you come from over there? Oh, let them up, his white boys, except the nigga that killed Christ, he an Arab Jew. <laughs> Judah. And you put that crap down on your children and wonder why these niggas are so crazy? <laughs> 